Well, shit, welcome back to another episode of El Barrio Podcast. We got my boy uh, Richie Rich in the building today. What's good, yes, my man? Sir. Boy, Rich yes, sir. Richie man. Rich. Yes, sir. Thank you for inviting me, bro. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks, Thanks for being bro. here, bro. Yes, Definitely. Oh, yeah. It's un honor. De veras, neta. Oh, yeah. This shit got my dick hard, bro. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked for the pillow, my man. <laughs> hey, uh, 30 minutes in, you're going to see this shit like this. <laughs> you'll see me like this. I'll go with the mic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! How's your Thursday going? Uh, it's going pretty smooth, man. I got off of work at one p.m. Yes, I still work. Hell yeah! Uh, you know, motherfuckers, no shame in motherfuckers that. are still real people. We still Hell got yeah. regular jobs and shit. You feel me? So cool. yeah, I work. Uh, yeah, I was getting ready for this shit. Hell yeah! Dope, dope, dope. We had a, a little drive today. This fool had a funny ass morning. You had to do a lot today, huh? I did hella shit. He, his, <laughs> he was on his dilf shit for real. Dilf? Yeah. Talk bro, about it, man. Eyes. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> so these little guys had to leave. They left my house like at what seven in the morning. Yeah. And I had to I had to do hella shit. I had to go take my son to the doctor. Then I went to Oakland to drop him off at my mom's. Then I went to the airport and I got here way before these guys. Yeah. They left way <laughs> before me. Kind of find out this little fucking jit right here got a fucking ticket. Ha! Huh? They see me <laughs> rolling. <laughs> Well, you say you were Bruh, on and a, he never drives. The first time he ever drives. The first time he ever drives. First time I drove. You said because you were ever. on the hub, right? Yeah, he was Driving on the hub. On the I was hub. on the hub like. Boom! <laughs> 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 first where, ticket. Where, where were you at, bro? Yeah, exactly. You're supposed to be. You know, that's passenger. That's passenger I seat job, bro. You, yeah. But yeah, no, nah, that fool. That fool caught me. Se la estaba calando también el Eddie, that's why. Hell yeah. I was, I was having wet dreams, actually. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy. Man. <laughs> but yeah, over here in L.A., getting it going. Yes, sir. It's a special episode today. We don't, we don't, got, a, we don't got our usual spot. Got a little special know. spot just for you, my guy. Yeah, this shit look beautiful, man. I it's was like, like, I walk in here, it feels like I'm on the fucking Nelk podcast, dog. This shit looks hella Yeah, it's la, it's, la, it's la casa de mi tía. Gracias, Tio Cuca. <laughs> Saludos. We got to leave before eight before the owners get here. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the door was open when we checked it, you know? I know, right? I ain't going to lie, bro. Being like, I'm, we shoot video, so we never be like in front of the lights like this. So it feels kind of weird. Yeah, it feels yeah. very awkward, bro. It was like a porn set. <laughs> Low key. I know what that's ready for it. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready for it all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Man, man, but shit, bro. Let's get into the. Let's get into your interview. Let's get into uh, Richie and what you're all about, bro. Um, yes. As far as like, as far as yourself, like, where you from, bro? Like originally, uh, I'm from Compton, California. Born and raised in Compton. Um, I don't really plan on moving anywhere else. Dog, I fucking love this place, dog. Like, like even all the way over here, like this shit feels weird to me. That's why when I when I came in, I don't know if you guys noticed. But I'm over here just fangirling on all the shit that's here. Like, <laughs> this shit has, like, oh, this shit has, like, like the little temperature shit. And, like, oh, these niggas have a pool, orange fucking. Well, we have orange trees. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, like, damn. Orange they, lemons trees. Yeah, like, damn. Shit. Like, they got fucking, they Aguacates. got a second story and shit. Like, yeah, man, this shit, crazy. this shit is slick feng shui. Like, pool table and a pool. Yeah. That's, when, that's when I was like, ooh, okay. Yeah, so this shit's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. I don't really be out here in this area, so. I just really be staying in the hood and shit. Yeah. How's, yeah. how's life in the CPT? Uh, uh, I feel like uh, it is what, what you make it, just like anywhere else. Like, I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure, like, in your area, there's horrible places and there's beautiful places. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like Compton, there's no beautiful place. There's just a better side than the other side. And luckily, I'd like to say I live on the better side because passing the train tracks, there's like a... a a thing where people say that passing the train tracks, I believe it's on, I don't know what street it's exactly, but there's a certain part where you pass the train tra- the train tracks, and that shit is just, like, the worst side of Compton. I live, like, on the east side of Compton, so it's, like, way better and shit. Yeah. It's still the hood, though, yeah. but it's way better. <laughs> How was it yeah. growing up in Compton? Uh, For me, like I said, uh, it is what you make it, man. I've yeah. always been, like, a... Like a good boy and shit. I don't really be doing no stupid shit. Yeah, straight uh, parents. Yeah, you know, just like Mexican parents. You know, just strict. Uh, I wouldn't really go out like that. I still don't go out. So yeah, I just been raised to like, I don't know, just stay at home type shit, homebody. Oh, yeah. 
feel that. No, yeah, same. That, that's that's exactly how my parents were. I wasn't allowed to play with no kids outside or nothing. Oh, and that when sounds kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait <laughs> me now, mom. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nah. That's because the face you were making, you were like, Yeah, I can't play all Because I'm flashbacks. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks of her beating my ass and shit. Nah, but then I, I grew up, we grew up, and then we found out, like, Oh, you live down the street. How come I never seen you? Like, Yeah. Oh, I never played outside. I could never play outside. <laughs> yeah. But then I, now I realize why I didn't, I didn't play outside. Yeah. So I mean, it gets to the point where, like, I literally never went out, and it's like, Oh, shit, I didn't even know he lived there. Like, there's certain people that don't go out of their houses that I don't even know that they're. They've been there for the past fucking 15 years and shit. Damn. It was pretty mm. crazy. And that's how I don't really be out like that. Is there hella Mexicans where you stay at? Or like, well, like what's like the, <clears throat> like I, I say typically like, like what's, what's around you? Honestly, uh, in my neighborhood, uh, I'm just speaking with my neighborhood in um, yeah. specific. But in my neighborhood, it's like literally all like Mexicans. And there's probably like, like three blacks that, that live in, in the neighborhood. But they're like, they're good people and shit. You feel yeah. me? They're not like, no, like. On some ghetto shit, I mean, well, I see it as normal. Even if they are ghetto, I still see it as yeah. normal. But I don't know. It's cool. Uh, yeah, it's just Mexicans around my area, but como todo is mixed. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm. It's funny though, huh? How like every like like in every single hood, there's always like the Mexicans <laughs> stay here, and then for some reason the the Moreno stay on this side. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it, love always. Every once like, in a while, like, they're, it's like a some little Morenos blend. with the Mexicans, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some Mexicans yeah, yeah. with the Morenos, yeah, and yeah, it's crazy because yeah. like you see the fucking people with, like the corrido industry, bro, in the town, like in that area, bro. Yeah. Now you see them mixing up, you know what I'm saying? You know, now you see Morenos hitting the the, the quintos, quintos and all that shit. Like, oh, whoa. I see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? bro. That's beautiful to me. Hell yeah, that's like dope. Culture, yeah. culture class at its finest. And how is it? How I is swear it? to God, I thought she went like this, like an ass. I was like, whoa. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, was, I was looking at fucking Stewie, and you were like, I was like, whoa. She, and then she's like, <laughs> <laughs> I love blacks and muskets. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and just so y'all know, we told him to pour us a shot. Oh. This motherfucker came in, gave us baby fifths and every fucking shot and shit. Right. So he animated. Usually he's like, you. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm on my shit because I've been watching. I've been watching my episodes, and if you look back, bro, I'm like in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Though. I'm off hella drugs and shit. Don't hella be like me. Yeah, bro, don't, don't do be those, like bro. me, don't bro. Do those. Pero yo encontré a Dios, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> shit, you know? So you found God now. You're good. <laughs> Supuestamente. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> you found Jose. Yeah, I, I, I hope I did. I found my compa <laughs> Chuy. <laughs> 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 you finna go to hell, bro. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go confess on Sunday or some shit, bro. I got so, it. <laughs> the Super Bowl, bro. You can't do that. Yeah. Or the big game. Oh yeah. The <laughs> Man, I don't give a fuck about no fucking. I don't care about money. Cincinnati, and I don't care about Los Angeles. See how I said it? You're not supposed to say the teams. Not for real. Say it then. We'll get Super Bowl. According to, according to this little. Wait, so you're not supposed to say So you're not supposed to say it. So you're not supposed to say it. Supposedly, like, you're, it, it's copyrighted. So you're, and if you make money off whatever you oh, say it in, okay, it, okay. It, it somebody affects. owns the name. Yeah. You somebody, can't say the C word either. Oh, <laughs> not yeah, crit, but no. you can't. Oh, C19. Coochie. You can't oh, okay, say the okay, virus. Okay, okay, okay. Either. Yeah. But that's not copyrighted. That's different. That's yeah, different. Yeah. But yeah, like I was trying to tell him, like we can't say the, we can't say it. We yeah. gotta say the big game, and we can't say the teams. We, we gotta say <clears throat> the cities. But I don't think it really applies to us like that because it's just oh, like no. we're in the Spanish thing. Fuck Rams. Fuck the Bengals. Fuck the Super <laughs> Bowl. Niners. You bitch. just disregard whatever the fuck you just told me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it. <laughs> it's okay. We can edit this out. <laughs> you better edit this out at fucking five minute mark or wherever the fuck we're at. Instead of the beats, you're going to put fuck las chivas and fuck las... <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck las, fuck las chivas. <laughs> what the fuck? You're like, you're like, why like, put a voice over me, man? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Um, so we're from, from the Bay, and it's like, yeah. how how is it living in L.A. with, like, different cultures? Do you guys kind of, like, get along, or is everyone kind of more segregated? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's a... Because out uh, there, like, we, we're... fucking question, bro. We're fucking... Everybody gets along with everybody. Yeah, we're, we're like... No, I don't think anybody even thinks about race out there. 
Like, yeah, that's what I'm unless saying. it's just like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like on a uh, casual uh, shit. Racing from the cops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like off, the, off of what I see, I feel like everyone's cool with each other, but then there is like little situations like, like the whole Lotero shit that was going on where oh, they were yeah. getting fucking jumped, like being that killed. That probably caused a huge separation. And, mm-hmm. and that, that caused like, okay, just because one person did that to them, they think that they're all like that. But really, yeah. it's... That's not the case, but then there there is a lot of people that think that way, like oh, this this fool did this to to a Mexicano, like oh, like, like they're all, they're all like that. They all hate Mexicans, but really it's not like that. I feel like we're all un- like yeah. united and shit. I'm cool with my neighbors and shit. So yeah. for me, I feel like it's cool. But there's parts of LA that they kind of don't get along like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it's I, it's very weird. I, I've been around. I've been around uh, some rappers, and they they introduced me to a lot of people, and they weren't really fucking with me. I thought it was just because I was just phony. It's probably because I'm phony, but <laughs> <laughs> come to find out, it was just you know some Mexican black thing. I don't know, like some yeah. like around here, black people don't really fuck with Mexicans and vice versa for whatever reason. I don't know. Yeah, I it's definitely weird. feel that there there is a there's a lot of places like that. Well, literally not places. It could be like you were you're at a fucking party and then it's like mixed, and then certain people don't fuck with each other. Mm-hmm. Because I know out there, uh, they kind of, like, the Latinos out here, they don't like how we are in the Bay because we're not, like, you know, we're not, like, being it out or cholo it out or, you know uh, what I'm saying, stuff like that. I so they'd be, so yeah. they be like, you guys aren't, you know, repping for the Latinos like that. But oh, it's like, oh, this okay. is how we are in the Bay. Like, we could be saying? we could be proud as fuck to be Latino, Mexican, whatever, but yeah. that don't mean I got to wear dickies. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, I'm not. And I, say that, and I say that because, like, respectfully. like uh, respectfully, because, yeah. like, a lot of the raza culture is, you know, like the lowrider culture, the Chicano culture, you know, that, that, that type of vibe. And that's really in tied with roots and the, a lot more shit to it. But in the Bay, we don't give a fuck. We, we just. We just be on our base shit. We just be on our shit. We be on the ism. I don't know. Yeah. I don't be on the ism. But the ism. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Sharp. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, what kind of get? What kind of motivated you to motivated you to start doing TikToks? Uh, honestly, I feel like it was it was it was just boredom, bro. Like quarantine, boredom. quarantine. <laughs> you know how like fucking. That's when you started it. Yeah, started it was quarantine. It? Like like when quarantine what is that was at its peak. When it start fucking twenty twenty like a March, 20, yeah, March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when it yeah, that's, that's what when I think. Shit, I posted my first video on February. And that shit got like fifteen thousand views. It was about some stupid shit. It was like literally on my, like the first day, like a first like a couple hours. And my brother at the time was in the military, and I would show him everything. Like, hey, like, hey, Eric, check this. Shit. His name is Eric. I was like, hey, Eric, bro, check this shit out, bro. I got fifteen thousand views. Yeah. Um, and he was like, oh shit, that's dope. Keep making videos. And it was just a, it was just a video, like some random ass video of my homie that was in the army as well. He was like burning out in the fucking snow with a fucking Humvee, like. Hmm. From over there. <laughs> and I just put in the caption, uh, fucking troqueando in the snow. Because at that time, it was all taquachando shit. That shit was, like, mm. barely blowing up. Like, all that cuss shit. And so, yeah, that shit just got 15,000 views. And I was like, okay, I'm going to keep doing this shit. Because um, on my YouTube channel, I'm not sure if you guys check, you guys probably didn't. But um, on my YouTube channel, you, if you scroll all the way down, it literally says a video from, like, five years ago of, like, a fucking reaction video. So I've been, I've been wanting yeah. to do this, like, social media shit. And yeah, as soon as like I saw that my video got fifteen thousand views in like the first hour, I was like, damn, like I really gotta keep doing this shit. And yeah, I just kept doing it and my, my followers started going up, my shit started going up, but then my shit stopped at fifty thousand followers because I don't know what the fuck. And I was like, fuck, like I'ma just quit. But then I made a new account, which is the account that I have now, mm-hmm. and I just ran that bitch up and and yeah, that's how it went down. Well, I, I started because I was fucking bored and fucking quarantine. <laughs> Would you say that you, you've always been, like, kind of, like, humorous, always fucking around, always in front of the camera, always, like, you know? Yeah, um, ever, ever since I was a kid, like, a little chubby-ass fucking little Mexican kid shit, I would, I would love being on camera. Like, it would always be me, my two brothers, and then my older sister. My older sister would be the one that's, like, recording all this shit on her little fucking iPhone 5 or whatever it was. <laughs> or iPod 3 or well, I don't know whatever the fuck yeah. it was but it was like yeah like around that time like when I was 7 years old and we would always just be making skits about stupid like stupid shit random shit and I don't know I just kind of like being I just I just liked being on camera and then I've never been the kind like to like oh like 
like we're at a like you're at a party or something or you're on at school and someone's pointing the camera at you that you don't even know you're like oh nah chill out <laughs> like nah i would like to be on camera I'll be like, oh shit what's up nigga? i'll just i'll do something stupid you know yeah. but i don't know i just i just liked always being on camera it was it was just something i was always comfortable with i'm cool with it yeah. what do you think uh makes tiktok different from like youtube and faith because i feel like a lot of people blow up a lot quicker on tiktok why, why do you think that is it the yeah. algorithm uh, yeah or the amount of people that are on tiktok or what do you think i think it's the algorithm honestly it's just quicker for you to blow up on on, on tiktok and then the fact that it's so easy to to open it as soon as you open the app there's a video already on there without you having to click on it or anything yeah. Man. and then videos could be up to Five seconds, three seconds to like three minutes now. Back then it used to be 60, but now it's like to three minutes. So the fact that it caps at three minutes and the lowest you could do is like 10 seconds, 15, five. So I feel like that really separates like TikTok mm. from like all yeah. those other platforms. And, and that's why TikTok is so like, like it's going crazy right now. And yeah, I think yeah. it's the new Instagram type shit. Awesome, no Gary V shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> also, no yeah, because because when you go on Instagram, you have like three choices: either you mm. go on the stories, you check out the reels, mm. or you check out the posts. So like, explore, you know, or TikTok, yeah. explore too. Oh, explore too. Yeah, which is I hate my explore. By the way, I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. But hello, not guys on it. Gabby, if you're watching <laughs> this, turn it off. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um. There's there's more shit that you can do TikTok uh, chinga so it's just straight up videos and you're straight gonna to get it, to nothing it. but videos so if like if there's a niche it'll it'll just flood you feel me yeah I if assume it, right like yeah, if yeah. there's a niche they'll I mean, like flood into it and I, and I don't know how all the all the other algorithms work on other platforms but I know TikTok for sure because I fucking study my fucking TikTok <laughs> I know the first thirty the first way. the first hour like. <laughs> 30 minutes, once it passed 30 minutes, your shit starts going more up. That's when TikTok starts showing it to, um, for the first 30 minutes, TikTok shows it to your followers. Mm -hmm. And then for the, for the, once it passed the 30th minute, it, it shows it to people that are, that have liked mm -hmm. similar kind of videos. And if they aren't fucking with it, then it, your shit's not going to be on the for you for too long after the first hour. Mm -hmm. But if you're, if they're fucking with you for the first hour, then they're going to show it to way more people and it's going to be on the for you, even to people that, cause I've had fucking like straight white people like on my <laughs> comments, like, I don't know what he's talking about, talking about, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and those will be the videos with like 500,000 views, like 800,000 views. Stra and straight Chester's on your comments. Yeah. Shit. Just straight. Like they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but they think it's funny and shit. So that's, that's the thing with, with the TikTok algorithm, like the first 30, and the first hour, the first two hours, it matters the most. I don't know about YouTube because I don't know what's up with YouTube. That's just bad. Yeah, That's YouTube, just YouTube is fucking and horrible. Yeah, and I fucking hate YouTube, man. I hate YouTube. <laughs> don't say that because then we're on technically on YouTube right I now. I love YouTube. Fuck it, we'll post it on OnlyFans then. When we get All right, just watch it on our Patreon link in the bio. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the algorithm is horrible. I hate Instagram. Uh, uh, Instagram's a little better. But YouTube for sure, I fucking nah. Instagram is oh, like I'll have yeah. like like a thousand like fifteen hundred views on my shit one day. Yeah, and then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna post a picture of myself working, <laughs> and it's thirty people in five hours, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is it? Yeah, I gotta lose weight or some <laughs> shit. Bro. But it, turn, <laughs> it turns out it's not that. It's the algorithm. It'd be it, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's on and off. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because it always put like pri it'll always prioritize people with more clout over you. You know what I'm saying? So like if yeah. you post on a Friday or something like that. There's always, like, hella rappers and shit dropping on Fridays. So, like, and your niche is, like, hip-hop, music industry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, of course, you're going to go show Junior that's his new album dropping tonight. Yeah, nobody um, wants to see instead a little, of Instead of Richie's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but then it's, like, uh, they show, like, if you have a higher following, they show it to, like, obviously, if you have more followers, it shows to more people because you have more followers. Yeah. But then um, the more followers you have, if you, or let's say you have a shitload of followers, um, let's say I have a hundred thousand followers and you guys have 5,000 and I post a video and I put hashtag explore on it. If you click on a explore hashtag, uh, my video is going to be higher up. And then your guys one is probably not even going to be up there because mine has more followers. Yeah. And then if your followers aren't interacting, like even if you have 5,000 followers, like if your shits, like if your, your followers aren't interacting with your shit for the first hour, then they're not gonna it's just like tiktok they're not gonna yeah. show it to if their your followers aren't interacting with it so that's why they say if you save someone's video it's like a super like mm. 
Mm. Like it helps the algorithm type shit. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna switch my shit. followers to three followers. I'm gonna tell you motherfuckers to like it every time I post yeah. some. So <laughs> yeah. technically, all my three followers like it. So you feel me? Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna like go that. home and do my homework like that. Yeah. I'm gonna follow everybody, block everybody, start new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that, man. Go I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start a group chat tonight. Fuck y'all. <laughs> like, yeah, just post it. Like it. Just post it right now. Please, just like it. Please. Just like <laughs> it. I used to do that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I, to, I, I like a lot of you guys on my old accounts. Like when I was like in fucking high school, um, I would do like I would be in those little group chats where you fucking like, oh, here like, I just posted comment. this. Go like it or some shit like that. Like, what? How many say? of those do we get a, a week? Oh my a god, How many god of those bro, that should be week? so fucking annoying. <laughs> They need to do something about the bots and all the annoying ass shit. Even the hey. real people, bro. Like, the real people be like, hey, just drop this. Go give it a like. <clears throat> go comment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this would be so much, bro. This is crazy. But honestly, though, when it comes to Instagram, I don't care about the likes. Because most people, they'll see it. The most important thing is for them to see it. Yeah. You they, know what I'm saying? So the like doesn't than, matter all yeah. the time. Because if you go to your insights, you'll see how many people are actually seen it compared to your likes. So the likes, kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of something then, you shouldn't pay attention. But then I kind of feel like your shit's kind of different because you guys, you guys are fucking music video directors. You guys are fucking like that. That's your business. I feel like every single view, every single view that someone like watches your shit, it matters so much compared to someone that's just making a skit. Like that's not a that's not a like a business opportunity. You're, I'm not selling anything. Yeah. You guys are selling basically your fucking mute that like, you guys are directors and you guys do videos. So for you guys, every single like. Even even if you have 300 likes, every single like matters because you guys are actually providing something, a service. Yeah. Mm. yeah but what, what, but what if it's like Insta, uh, how they do it where you don't see how many people like it? Uh, you get what I'm saying? Because that kind of hides the per- – because you can't judge it based off the amount of likes sometimes. Yeah. True. You get what I'm saying? So but a lot like of I people said, do. But that's people that I care about popularity and clout. You know Which saying? is most of these rappers. No, because I, I, for yeah. me personally, like how I see – like even when you guys yeah. be on Instagram, you'll see some – Cool, that's funny. Skip it. Mm-hmm. It's not like you didn't like it. It's just you're just literally just watching it. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of times, like I said, like if you go to your insights, like you might get like a thousand likes, but it's like it reached fifteen thousand mm-hmm. accounts. You get what I'm saying? So that's the kind of audience you kind of want to go. For. So that's why I see they're trying saying, to take man. away the like button because people judge it off how many likes you have sometimes, I and a lot sure. of people buy followers sometimes. I ain't even gonna lie, dog. Like um, when I, when I'm scrolling through my explore page or like the reels or something like that, I'll be scrolling right, and I see a video like I like it, I'm, like I'm laughing about it, and then I see that it has like 47 likes. I'll be like, oh no, nah, it's not funny. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like it. Right? That's kind of so but you're you you're kind of right. Crazy. People do think like that. Yeah. I do people think do like think that. like that. Rappers, yeah. artists in general think like that. It's like, oh, this director's cool, but I only got 47 likes. Like. I'd rather go with this guy who has yeah. three hundred thousand likes. Blah, 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 it's blah, it's stupid how people think like that because it's like it's it's stupid, but at the same time, like if I'm popping and I want to remain popping, and I want everybody to see that I'm popping. I'm gonna fucking want you because when you post it, a lot of people are gonna see it more than when if you do likes films. Yeah, because look, it. check it out. Compared In a way. To, all right, let's say. Fuck you, but I feel you, you know? Like, <laughs> let's say, like, you. you guys are Cole Bennett. Obviously, Cole Bennett is bigger, you know? But, yeah. like, you guys have, let's say you guys have the same the same quality. You guys are, what you guys do, you guys shit is badass. Like, mm-hmm. swear to God, your shit is fucking hard. Though. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate all y'all shit is hard <laughs> as fuck. Cole so, Bennett hard, though. <laughs> so, Jose it's Bennett. like, you guys have, <laughs> like, the same quality, but then, obviously, Cole Bennett is bigger, so people will want to yeah. go to Cole Bennett mm-hmm. instead of you guys. Because he's yeah. bigger. And that's the yeah, thing that sure. a lot of people, like nowadays is not about talent. It's really yeah. not. Because yeah. there's, like, there's people that are, n- not to be disrespectful, they're trash, but it's just like, they're just popular on social media. So a lot of people go for them regardless of the quality of yeah. whatever service they're doing. You get what I'm saying? Because like, for example, like you might not be funny, but you're popular. Or if you are funny and you're not popular, people aren't going to like you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so a lot of people will take that too much into consideration. Mm. Yeah. I feel like it's even the same thing with music, bro. Like everything, like I've been, yeah, everything, everything bro. It's crazy. Do with, everything that has nowadays, to do with like it has to do with popularity. Like, just do people like it. Is do it people valid? Like it. Sorry, I gotta talk closer. Or is it valid? And me liking it, will it be validated by other people? That that you know, because yeah. it's like if I like this and you don't know what the fuck it is, no one gives a fuck. But if I like this and everybody else likes it, I get a different reaction. So it's like, mm. Ah, I feel like social media in a way. Made us want to feel belong, be- belonged, and accepted. And accepted. 
I'm not saying the right word. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm not English is my second language, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take tests every fucking year to figure it out. Sorry, yeah, bro. <laughs> That's hella funny. Were you in ELD? Uh, Were y'all in ELD? Wait, what's ELD? Is like when you're no, like, wait, like yeah, English also, language development? Oh, no, 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 because there's huh? ES, there's ESL, and yeah, then yeah, I know ESL, not whatever you said. I had to take one because when my parents filled out a form, or whatever, they put that. English was my second language, so oh, they had man. a test if I was, like, a fucking little Mecco kid, like, are you <laughs> retarded? Like, do you know, L, L, you know, the, the balloon is red, you, you know, bruh. like, and I'm just like, bruh, every year I had to take that shit. Wait, I don't know if it's considered ELD, but I'll get pulled to the side, dude, to, to get extra classes, extra lessons. Is, is that is that the same shit? You, you Wait, from LA, so you got yeah, some other you, you, like, you probably got some fool, like... Si se puede, no <laughs> that shit. Like, yeah, you're gonna do this. Da, 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 da. Oh shit! Us is just like, oh, you don't know English. See, <laughs> sit next to this other Mexican dude that don't know English. Actually, you know what I was in my elementary school? Yeah, I was the only Mexican kid that knew Spanish. So all the other kids that didn't know English, they would pull me to the side and be like, "Hey, come here. This is Jose. <laughs> he just came from Guadalajara." <laughs> And he doesn't know English. <laughs> Show him around. And I'm just like. You think it's lunch money? I'm like, nah, I want to punk him. Nah, I'd be. I'd treat him like. Hey, bell. Like, te gusta Foursquare? And I don't know how to say Foursquare. <laughs> it's, it's like, just come through with me. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that shit. <laughs> I remember those. It was it always like one, like at least one or two a year. That would pull in like, oh, yeah. Acaba de llegar. <laughs> but I went to school with no sabos. Bunch of no sabos. Bunch of like, I'm sure none of y'all missed a day with that. Y'all had some fucking paisas in your fucking at your school, huh? Uh, I, I loved. I would kill for that shit, bro. <coughs> Arizona yeah. hot Cheeto girls. <laughs> <laughs> the Hollister jeans. <laughs> the Hollister jeans. The jeans from Mexico with all the little bedazzles on them. <laughs> Michael Kors. <laughs> I love that shit, man. I. Yeah, I grew, up, I grew up with a bunch of Mexican kids that didn't know English. They were Mexican American. You know, like they were Mexican. Mexican. I fucking hate <laughs> people that say it like that, bro. Mexican. I, I say it like that <laughs> nah, sometimes. Bro, it's like, <laughs> nah, man. I I used to be a I used to work at as, as a security guard, right? And uh, a guard I used to work with, he was an older black man, and he would be like, "Oh, that Mexican was stealing some shit." I'll be like, "Oh <laughs> my god, man!" One time, I got kind of pissed off because low key, I kind of find it disrespectful. I don't know why. Um, I was like, "Bro, I'm gonna be straight up with you, man. It's not Mexican. It's Mexican <laughs> with an X, man. It's not with an S. It's not two S's. It's with an X, man. It's Mexican, not Mexican." But yeah. Yeah, my shit was worse. I'm Salvadorian, so they'd be like, do you speak El Salvadorian? I'm like, it's Spanish, dumbass. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Bro. You speak El Salvadorian? El Salvadorian? Like, Salvadorian? Oh, shit. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Growing up, I don't know what El Salvador was because I had a cousin named Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the fucking meco juice kicking in now. Fucking my bad. I just didn't know what El Salvador was growing up. <laughs> What's the point of your story? Next question. So Richie, um, <laughs> all right, back to TikTok. Yeah, back to TikTok, bro. So, <laughs> like, what's your question? What's your question? Go ahead. So go my ahead. question is: So you you started off. You said your first video got like fifteen thousand views. Yeah, in like a couple hours. And yeah. then after that, was it kind of like around the same kind of numbers, or was it more? Uh, or less? yeah, I think. Um, Cause I've always liked to study like statistics and shit like yeah. that, and I would always want to get like as as much views as possible. So I'll search up on on YouTube and try to see how other people are doing it and see their little advice, and I would try to copy it. But then I would see it wouldn't work. But then I would try my own shit, and I'll be like, okay, this works. And then I'll watch their shit, like nigga, that shit don't work. Like yeah. the way I'm doing it is the correct way, but yeah. you're not doing it right. <laughs> That's when you start doing. You start making the OnlyFans with, uh, like teaching people how to do this shit. Yeah. Um, uh, that's that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the the views they're they're all right. It was going to like five thousand, and then I got happy when it was like fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. And then um, since I was a new creator, 
um, this the shit I was saying, people would be like, "Bro, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, you're fucking ass. Like, these songs are horrible." Man. And I would have like no accreditation. Obviously, now people know me, and they'll be like, "Oh, like this shit's fire," and like the shit you be putting on is fire. But then there's still be a few people that don't know who, who I am. And they'll be like, "Oh, fool that." Like the songs yeah. that you be posting are trash. <laughs> but yeah, um, going way off the point again. <laughs> um, it's all good. You feeling, yeah. that, you feeling that water or what? <laughs> this shit's water, water, that water's kicking in. This, shit's oh, fire, bro. this <laughs> shit had me rolling my eyes back. This shit, the homo. <laughs> no, don't. The homo. <laughs> Not because it's homo, but we want you to be okay, bro. <laughs> nah, but see, I don't know if you put some shit on my water, man. <laughs> You have to find out, boo. <laughs> we did get an Airbnb, you know. <laughs> nah, but but yeah, I, now my my views they they all like yeah. it stays around the same, and then like eighty thousand, hundred thousand, and then maybe like in there it gets like four hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. But it doesn't go lower than like fifty thousand. If it doesn't, mm-hmm. I get sad. <laughs> what, what kind of what kind of videos get get the most views? Like, uh, would you say like the the the, the Quatra songs of the week or? Uh, Skits. Or we ain't talking shit. Or what? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. But we, <laughs> I, <hate it. laughs> nah I love it. I love it though. I can't. I can't. I can't. Honestly. I, I say I don't love it. Honestly, I, I think. It. I honestly think it's. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I think. I think it's the skits that, that, that get the most views and attention. Because the songs of the week, like, yeah, they would get a shitload of views. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But... But then I feel like once I started doing skits, that's what really took me to the next level. That's when I started getting noticed. First, I got noticed by DMG, Deluxe Music Goose. Shout yeah. out to them. Oh, yeah. Shout that, out, shout out. Shout out DMG. Um, um, I did a DMG skit. And that's the literally, like, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom of my Instagram, that's literally going to be the first skit that I've ever posted. First video I've ever posted is going to be a DMG skit. Yeah. And then you'll see uh, NY, I mean, sorry, Junior, you'll see Junior. In the comments, like, showing love, DMG Brian, you know, Jose Mejia, and New York Oisial, they were showing mm-hmm. love. And that's when I, I really started getting noticed by, like, all the artists and shit. And then I just, once I saw that DMG was really showing love, I was like, okay, I need to start making, I was talking to my brothers, I was like, okay, what should I do? They're like, bro, make video, make skits, make videos about other artists, and maybe they'll notice you too. And yeah, that's what I did. Um, yeah, they were they started noticing me because nobody was doing that shit. Mm-hmm. Straight up, nobody was like nobody was doing skits like this. Nobody, still nobody does videos like how I do them, mm-hmm. and like the skits. That's why that's why I feel like my shit was blowing up because nobody was doing what I did. And the only reason why I got inspiration off that shit, I know you guys didn't ask, but I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, I got inspiration by. Do you guys know who Love Live Service on YouTube? Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's like some two YouTube guys that make skits, uh, not necessarily about just rappers, but I did see a few videos where they were making skits about rappers, and I was like, oh shit, that's just dope. I need to start doing that, and so I started making skits about artists in this genre because nobody was doing it, and so I did it, and then yeah, that shit started going crazy. Man. Yeah. You feel like the DMG one was the one that kind of blew, you, took you to the next level, or which yeah, I, I feel like that's because I was just posting my shit on TikTok. But then I was seeing people posting my TikToks on Instagram, like the corrido pages, yeah. like oh, corridos yeah. placosos, yeah, yeah. corridos <laughs> chinga su madre, or whatever, you know? You just cor- like There's weekend. one called trap corridos. That one's trap cool. corridos, <laughs> whatever, corridos for you, or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the fuck yeah. you call There's like so many fucking corrido pages. But um, yeah, I saw that there. El del attacking mine, too. That's like the biggest oh, one. Yeah. You know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> or corridos con fuego, or whatever. But yeah, they were posting my shit, and I'll be like, oh, what the fuck? They're just getting views off of me, dog. I'm not getting, I'm not getting the followers. <laughs> they're not even tagging me. Yeah. And so I was like, fuck, like they're stealing my content and not getting credit for it. So I was like, fuck, like I'm gonna just start posting my shit on Instagram. And yeah, the DMG skit was the first one that I posted. And yeah, that shit was getting love. That shit has like probably like six thousand views. But at the time, I felt like that shit was crazy yeah. numbers. And and yeah, that the DMG one is the one that took that that took me up. Yeah, that's dope. Oh, actually, and the second the the skit that I did right after that one, I actually mentioned Junior H about it, and DMG Brian sent it to Junior H, and Junior H is like fucked with it. He yeah. was like, he literally like showed me a screenshot of Junior H fucking laugh like putting laughing emojis to my video yeah. and at the time i was like fuck bro, i'm a huge junior h fan like that's <laughs> dope as fuck i just started doing this shit and then i'm already getting like what the fuck i want like junior h is reacting to my shit that's cool so i was really proud about that actually that's dope, that's dope. 
And then from that, um, that what kind of inspired you to start doing podcasts too? Was it like trying to try something different, or just because you wanted to bring attention? <clears throat> to it? I I felt like because I don't I don't want to be known for just one thing. Yeah. I don't want to just be known for just my skits. Mm. Um, obviously, I feel like I'm known for my songs of the week. I'm known for my skits. But I was like, okay, this is getting kind of stale. I need to get something new going on. And then I was like, okay, what's something that I could stay in the game for, like in the same industry, same topic, so I don't lose my my fam my followers. And so I was like, okay, I want to meet people. I want to meet artists. Like I'm a, like I'm a fucking I'm a I'm a fan. I, I get I, I see the fan point of view first. And so I'll be like, fuck. I want to. I mean, I want to meet new people. I want to meet the artists that I fuck with. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna start doing podcasts. And I I remember one time I posted on my story, um, one day I'm gonna be interviewing your guys' favorite artists. I posted that shit with no fucking, with no thought about it. Like, okay, I'm probably just capping. I'm probably just. <laughs> but um, eventually I signed a management deal with Grand Records. You guys know what Grand Records is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I signed a management deal with Grand Records. Shout out to my boy Javi and my boy Alex. I fuck with y'all. If it wasn't for y'all, La Platica wouldn't be, wouldn't even be possible. Mm. So, straight up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, shout out to them. They saw that they were stalking my page ever since I posted the DMG skit. Like, oh, yeah, this say I'm going to make some money on this. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing their hands like Birdman and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. And so, um, uh, yeah, they just hit me up one day and they were talking about, oh, like, I'll pay you for some skits. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, like, I've never been offered that. You know, I'm cool. And I charged them a fucking, I charged them. Paid me and I was like, oh shit, that's cool as fuck. I never knew you could charge people for this shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just I stayed away from them because I didn't. I I was kind of cautious. Like, oh, okay, I don't want to. I don't want to get fucked over because I know a lot of people be getting fucked over. Yeah. Uh, I know it's just the management deal, but I don't want to get fucked over. So I fucking I just let them be and I kept doing my shit. But then they just kept watching me and then. Um. Um, they saw that I that I said that I want to do um, interviews, and I'm guessing mm. they just got more interested off of that. And then, yeah, that's when they finally hit me up. They hit me with a good pitch, and they're like, hey, we'll fund La Platica for you, and this and that. I'm not going to tell you guys all the details, but this and that. And then they... Um, we started it. We built the set, and then we ended up getting Tony Loya on literally on the literal first fucking episode. And at the time, Tony Loya was the fucking fucking biggest not not the biggest, but he was like a main topic yeah. at the time. Talking and that's town. why, yeah. So that's why that video, that interview has so much views because it was his first interview, and it was like I was so fucking nervous in that interview, bro. <laughs> Like, if, I'm pretty sure if you guys watch it, you guys will be like, wow, this guy's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, that shit's really, that shit's really fucking bad. Like, um, I've never, well, I've met Tony Loya before, but then um, he walks in with, like, 15 people. Um, the the sm the set is pretty small. Like, the ceiling was, like, oh, dang. and it was hot boxed as fuck. I felt that shit in my throat. <laughs> and I don't smoke, so I was like, oh, like, this shit was hitting my chain, you feel me? <laughs> But, yeah, I was, like, super nervous, dog. And I was just shaking. Like, I was, like, this the whole time and shit. Like, oh, like, oh, okay. Like, so this and that. And I was just super nervous, bro. But, but yeah, that's how I got into into making podcasts. I just wanted to do something new. That's all funny. Kind of piggyback on, picking, piggybacking on your on your TikToks and doing the skits. Um, have any, any, we won't got to say names, but has. I'll say names. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shit. Wait, 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 we ready for war. It's all good, good baby. Man. But uh, have you ever got any backlash for for doing your skits? Uh, I'm sure, I'm, like a hater you know, coming through. Or something? Your shit is humorous, but you know, if if, if I was, some people take it, to the, the, uh, uh, yeah, if, if yeah. You're, you know, um, where people were like, take that off, you <laughs> That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, okay, so um, one of them is actually not that like Nathan Elcano. Oh so shit! Again, so when I first started, I was making skits about him. Like I said, uh, after the DMG skit, my brothers were telling me, "Hey, start, start met, start doing skits about artists that you want to get noticed by." So I was like, "Okay, who's the biggest right now? Not that. 
And I, at the time, not that I was like going crazy yeah. with Ovi and Junior H. I was like, wow, these guys are some fucking characters. And I just started making skits about them. And then one day, <clears throat> I post a skit about Nata and Junior H. And supposedly it's like of Junior H being whipped, like being a mandilon for Nata. And I'm guessing Nata didn't like that, you feel me? Yeah. So um, um, I get a message on, on my Instagram. And okay, I see, and I see that has RH at the, at the, at the back of it. So I'm like, oh shit, like. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't know who the guy was. You feel me? And so I, I, uh, I opened the, I opened the freaking, the messages, and uh, it's a voice message. I was like, oh shit, I wonder who this is. And then I see the, I open the, the, the voice message. I literally have proof of this shit, but I don't know if I, <laughs> if I should play it. You can play it for us after the show. Right, for sure. <laughs> get on OnlyFans. I, I literally, I oh, yeah. literally want to show you. I literally, you know what? I'll the just, Patreon in the description. I'll Patreon just pull it out. out so you, and I'll show you or, guys. But or I'll play it right play now, it. and then we'll cut it off when we edit. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll like, lay it over or something. Okay. I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to show you guys. Just so you guys know. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Nata, uh, he was all like, I'm going to tell you what he guys, what he was saying. He was like, la neta no, no te entiendo de lo que, dices, de lo que está diciendo, pero... La neta, hablas puras pendejadas, like, <laughs> like, de, like, de cosas que no sabes. And he was like, mejor póngate a chambear y, y, y hacer dinero. Y puedes hacer videos, pero nomás, nomás no me menciones a mí. I was like, okay. <laughs> 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 you know uh, That's hella funny. Look. Did, that, did that strike you where you're like, oh, I'm coming on? Oh, you, you, sent him, you sent him a whole ass reply? Yeah, and I sent him a whole ass fucking message, dog, because I'm a fucking fan of that shit, dog. I fucking love Nata, man. <laughs> and then for him to be fucking hating on me and shit, I was like, oh, that shit hurt me, dog. But I was like, you know what? If that shit got his attention, I'm going to keep fucking, I'm going to keep posting it. And um, fucking, yeah, he ended up blocking me. <laughs> he ended up blocking That's hell funny. I'll show you guys later. That's crazy. But there's some more That's shit with crazy. Nata, bro. It's like, oh, uh, fucking, hey, I swear to God, so Nata beat- loves me. <laughs> is beef with y'all? Is- I don't know. I, I wish there was beef. <laughs> but nah, hold up. There's a, oh, look at this shit. All right. You see whose page that is right there? Not the, oh. at the top. This nigga literally posted. This nigga zoomed in on my fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this, nigga zoomed, this nigga zoomed in on my fucking picture. And he just posted that shit on his story with the uh, El Commander song. The proof. Shit. The proof. Yeah. The, so the you guys can see. Not that El Cano. He posted my shit. And he put a fucking goat emo. I don't know why. What the f- <laughs> I don't know. And then there's oh, another crazy. one of this shit where he posted El, Com- El Commander and shit. So, so you guys can see. It literally. Not that Damn, Americano. that's crazy. That's his Damn. Instagram. So that's hella mother- crazy. Yeah, so I'm guessing not that hates me. I don't know. He yeah. hates you or loves you. Man, he just uh, misunderstands you, bro. Like, True. You gotta be like, mira, viejon, unblock me, please. Nah, man. Nah, he, he, he <laughs> done with you. Yeah, he done with you. <laughs> done with you. <laughs> and then um, for, a, for a long period of time, um, J- Jimmy had me blocked, too. Jimmy, Jimmy Mille from Rancho Mille. He had me blocked. And, um, and that, one, <laughs> that one where I was really like, oh, okay, well, me estoy pasando de verga. Like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, like, too. Like, the, like, the literal CEO is, like, blocking me. Okay, ahora sí me pasé de verga. Like, I really need to stop doing this shit. And then... Um, and yeah, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to just stop making videos about Rancho Mille. Tony Loya was blown up, so I was like, okay, let me make videos about Tony Loya. And at the time, he was, he was, um, he was, he had the beef with the Zingno. You guys remember that yeah. beef? Oh, yeah. The Tony Loya and the Zingno one. And I, I made a skit about the Zingno and Tony Loya and the whole, all of, it's, it kind of seemed like the whole, all of East Coast was fucking hated me. Like, they wanted my <laughs> fucking head type shit. Like, literally, like, all of the fucking, all of the Zingno were like, Hey, bro, you a bitch ass fool. Like you're a bitch. Like, like the shit you be saying is stupid. And I don't know if I probably had. They're probably still on the freaking on my on my Instagram video because I don't delete the comments. I want that shit to be there. Yeah. I don't want to say who the guy is, but I, I believe it was the bass player. I don't know who it was, but they that they were talking hella shit about me, bro. Like if they fucking hated my guts, bro. And I was just like, fuck, man. But now me and Dezino is all cool. 
like me, like I reply to their stories and I'll mm. be like, and I'll oh. post them on my, cause after they were talking shit about, I'm like, fuck, I'm not going to put them on my songs of the week no more, bro. Like I'm, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm fucking, I was like, you're done. <laughs> done. <laughs> you're done, bro. I'm you're not going to put, I'm not going to put you on my songs of the week no more. You hate me. I'm not going to help you out no more. And so, um, yeah, after that, we're all, we're all cool. Like they ended up, they started fucking with me first. So, you know, they was like, okay. Like they started asking for promo and then. Um, well, I hope they don't get mad about that. <laughs> but yeah, the, they were asking for promo. I gave them the promo yeah. and I posted them. On, now, every time they drop, um, I put them on my songs of the week. And yeah, it's all love. And when you do your skits, personally, do you feel like you're crossing the line or are you just Walking seeing on. what you... That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of, I feel like yeah. people... Because when I see a lot of them, I feel like that's the, the real truth. Yeah. And some people don't like to, you know, expose yeah. certain sides. And yeah. so I see why they would get offensive, but I feel like you weren't really ever crossing the line. Here. Yeah. Nah, well, like the the followers, the viewers, they'll think this is cool because they would always reply. They would like talk shit for me. They'll be like, hey, stop being a soft ass bitch. It's a skit. It's a joke. Take it as a joke. <laughs> it's not yeah. nothing serious. So, uh, at least you got some strong followers. Yeah. So oh, I'll be like, like that's what it really is. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be like, them, that's my, my niggas, man. Like, I don't got to say nothing. Like, yeah. they're literally talking shit for me. I don't got to say shit to you, man. Like, I literally just like, I'll like their fucking, I'll like their comment. And then my followers just fucking just straight bash those fuckers. Like, oh, <laughs> you're a bitch. It's a joke. So you don't even got to reply. You yeah. Just, I don't even got to say nothing. You just got to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I got uh, a fucking net bangers on my shit, like mm. I like just lined up, like okay, hey, I'm gonna like this nigga's comment, get on his shit, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they would just and they would just uh, get on their shit, but yeah, that that shit was little funny. baby cult, yeah, a little yeah, baby cult on right. online baby cult and shit. You feel me? <laughs> but I feel like that that's cool because like sometimes you want to defend yourself, but if it just you see everybody kind of defending you, you just kind of like. You, know, you feel like you're doing something cool, too, you know what I'm saying? And you don't got to defend yourself, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then there was kind of like, I don't know if I should say this, but there was a... <laughs> I'm not cagando, <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull out the hub in the bathroom real quick. <laughs> real quick. There was a... Um, supposedly, there was supposed to be a diss track, the Dezino, on me. For real? Supposedly, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? There was... There is, uh, there's like... I'm not going to say who told me. I'm not going to say who... Who's the one that I heard that information from? But supposedly there was supposed to be a fucking um, a diss track of Dezino on me and what would me. they say? Yeah, I was like, what could they, they say? What could they say about you? How they well de los TikToks? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like I don't know. Like that shit will sound corny as fuck. But good thing yeah. they stopped them because honestly, I'll be like, bro, delete that shit. It's trash. Like there's literally nothing to diss me about. You're gonna diss a fucking TikToker dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's crazy how they don't even see like what you're doing too. Like like there's always gonna be like obviously like like for, for example like your your posts or like your TikToks might not be like the truth or they might not even be like you know what I'm saying like what they like like it's just it's just comedy, bro. It's just yeah. funny. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to be a comedian at the end of the day, and you found a niche. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like some people just don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. don't see. That they don't see really, what you're that's to what do. it is. Like yeah, I just found my niche. I, I was making videos about that, and I just kept it going because if I stopped, then you know. You gotta find something else to do. I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna have to find something else to do. And the shit was working, so I was like, why would I stop? I don't give a fuck if they don't like it. Right. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep it going. And I'm sure it's yeah. fun. I'm sure it's something that you like too. I'm sure you like, you like listening to corridos too. So yeah. it's like, it's even it's dope as fuck that you found your way to get into the, you know, wiggle your way into the music industry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I started getting paid off that shit. So I was like, so yeah. even ten times better, shit bro. Cool, you feel me? So yeah. That's great. You get paid from TikTok, or how do you get? Paid? Uh, you could. But I heard that it drops your your reach, your for oh. you page. It's like if you put um, sponsors to, to get paid, because there's like a little a little thing where you could activate monetization on TikTok. But you literally get like it's literally so bad. Like compared to YouTube, it's so horrible because YouTube pays like a motherfucker, but TikTok pays shit. But but it's crazy too, bro. You might think you're getting paid a lot, but YouTube keeps a big ass percentage. I just know I get paid a lot. Of yeah, <laughs> but uh, the, the amount that YouTube keep, I looked into yeah. it one time and I got hella mad because I was like, "Ooh, I'm getting cool money from YouTube." But yeah. then I looked at how much YouTube keeps. You only keep like not even a quarter of of the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but scammed. then it, uh, for me, I find it. I find it like as like it's not really trabajo to me. Yeah. It's like True. I'm doing this shit for fun. I, I'm doing what I like, and I'm getting paid for it. Mm -hmm. Like I'll 
that's cool as fuck. You feel me? Like I still got my job, so I'm chilling. You feel me? Yeah. So, but I'm just saying, like if like if I was just relying on just YouTube mm-hmm. and I had no fucking other job, I would yeah, I would be shitting bricks. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> this is not enough, you know. But like a cool thousand on the side, cool five hundred, yeah. you know, cool fifteen hundred, you know, on the side, like that's cool as fuck. Along with what I'm already making and then promo, everything's cool, bro. Yeah, well, cool. and that's for now too. You're still building your brand, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still building my shit too. So, so yeah, e- e- everything's cool. I can yeah. see you host a couple parties and a couple shows. You know, yeah. I, I've, I've, <laughs> I've done by a, Richie. You feel me? I've like, done I've done a couple, and bro, I've, I've fucking shit breaks, dude. It's horrible, <laughs> man. <laughs> and it's okay. Some like little small ass fucking crowds too. Like no disrespect to the people that I went on tour with. You feel me? Or, like the little shows I did. Um, um, I went to a. It was a Tony Loya Grupo de Cuatro and Commando LR. Mm. And I was host, host of it, and I literally only got on stage like once, for like a minute, and that shit's so fucked up. I can't do it. Man. I don't you know. just gotta work on it, bro. You just gotta work on it. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not the same as like being in front of like you know yeah. the camera and shit. There's like sixty nine thousand people watching you, and just like they depend on you to say something. But just rock the crowd, bro. Just yeah. go. Just go rock out with your cock out. <laughs> It'll work. No, seriously. Yeah. Not literally with your cock out, because then you'll probably never host again. But oh yeah, yeah. Rock out with your cock out, bro. Like you'll get you'll get your results. Like you'll you'll have the crowd hype. Yeah. There just hasn't been in, like a lot of shows recently. I don't know because uh, of the yeah the the word because the, the forbidden word because of the forbidden word. <laughs> but once that shit gets back popping, then yeah, hopefully I get to host it. I mean, yeah, they're they're oh, lifting man. they're lift, lifting the mask mandate. When the fourteenth like, or some shit? Yeah, some wait, some. I thought they said they were they were like removing oh, except it. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're removing yeah, it. Like, yeah, they're yeah, lifting LA. it. Not here. Not I don't think in L.A. or in Santa Clara County. L.A. Oh, County, man. no. Oh, for real? Still L.A. County, no, and oh, Santa shit. Clara County, no. I don't even be wearing my shit like that no more. This whole this whole trip, <laughs> I haven't been wearing my shit when we go to stores. Fucking Mecco kid, bro. You don't give a fuck. This bro, this fool eh. caught COVID one time. And we we're gonna do a podcast. I was like, bro, just stay home. He was like, I'll come, bro. I wear a I'll mask. Just wear a I'll mask. Sanitize. I'll stay away. <laughs> as soon as he gets home, what's up, bro? I try and shake. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It was not like that. It was not, it like, was. It was not like that. I throw holy water in. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I was scared, <laughs> but then I was like, nah, stop me. He said he caught it three yeah. times already, so he wasn't. For real? Yeah, this fool caught it hella time. Three times? No, yeah. not three. Twice, bro. Twice? Like, fuck. How does it feel? Because I don't really think I caught COVID. It, it feels mainly, bro. Oh, when you know, like, you know. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, you feel you got something. It, you got it. It feels something weird here. Like, like you crabs. can't really smell. Like, you just you just feel, like, air going in. You don't. You just feel it. You don't You don't smell it. That's yeah. it. And then, like, uh. I ain't gonna lie. the The worst thing about COVID is like slick, like like depression. Cause like, think about. Uh, I don't it. know about that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You quarantined with somebody, so that's cool. <laughs> but when you're quarantining, like, think about it. Think about it. You're uh-huh. quarantining in a room, and like y'all been in my room. I have a fucking San Quentin ass fucking room. Uh-huh. It's small ass five by five ass fucking room. Uh-huh. So I'm in there. I'm like to the neck all day every day for 10 days so it like it fucks with your head you feel me and on top of that it's like fuck i might i might get worse tomorrow and die who knows right. so i'm counting my days so it's just like a it's like a mental thing <laughs> fuck y'all get covid <laughs> and i say no little bro. fucking so yeah but you were all like i don't give a fuck you went out hey, 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 ignore this guy hey the 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 worst it was i just slept all day every day bro That's i just cap. knocked out i was literally I just, locked I, in my room this fool probably wasn't locked in his room. Ah, he was I fucking said, We said the word hell of times already, man. <laughs> We're gonna be I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he yeah. was probably throwing flowers all over the house and shit. I, I was in my fucking room. Like, just, I couldn't see nobody, talk to nobody. I think there was I mean, a time where I was, where I did cut, where I thought I caught COVID. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, I literally couldn't taste, like, I couldn't, I couldn't taste anything. And I would be smelling my fucking cologne. Like, okay, I think I have COVID. I can't smell shit. So I grabbed my cologne. I was like, okay, this is not, I can't smell it. And I grabbed, I grabbed. <laughs> Grab some fucking Vapuru, bro, because I know that shit will work. If I don't have COVID, I know I can smell this shit. So I smelled it. I was like, I put my nose all the way in there. I was like, yeah, I have COVID. <laughs> but I was still going to work because I wasn't so sure. You feel me? Yeah. And I was literally on the phone with my girl like, while I was eating Jack in the Box and shit. Like, hey, I can't taste my food. Ah. And she'll be like, nah, don't say that. Like, you probably do have COVID. I was like, uh, nah, I don't think I have so I was like, <laughs> you're like me. Selfish. Yeah, so yeah, I was you're like, nah. <laughs> I'm f- Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. This is sweating because I ran upstairs 
30 minutes ago. Yeah, so I was for sure I'm fucking at work with COVID and shit. Uh, okay. Don't say that. Don't say that. I don't, I don't, I don't think you should say that. Now they're going to be like, cancel Richie. <laughs> oh, oh man, I forgot you can't oh, say COVID. Oh, <laughs> Not even that. No, you going to work, man. You're spreading it. You're fucking spreading it like that. Ah, vale madre. Oh, shit. I, we'll, we'll cut this off. We'll cut yeah, this that's kind of true. A, lot that, of people, a few people. That's the reason why it's so high in LA because of you. Yeah, oh, bro. Spreading that work. Yeah, fuck. And that's true, man. I probably caught a. I probably got a few couple, couple bodies. A couple, <laughs> couple bodies. Yeah. You probably caught a couple bodies. Like, you don't even know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> smoking hella packs. You don't know you're smoking. Yeah, I probably did, man. Fuck. Instead man. of teardrops, you got cough drops and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I don't feel bad, man. I probably caught a few bodies, man. Full sense of teardrops, you got cough drops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, that's uh, COVID. No. <laughs> COVID nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally over here saying COVID like a motherfucker. We're gonna beep it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna beep all that. Right? No, true, no, true. We got a we got a little button that you press. He sell it like nada. Yeah. So we're just gonna put that every time you say COVID. I was supposed we to turn it down. Now we turn uh, it down. yeah. yeah. So whenever we say we're just going to put a little, a little sound effects. So let me go. Ah, man. Well, shit. Back, back, back to, the, uh, to the corrido stuff. How do you feel about the SMO, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, the that's a question. Check his TikTok and then he'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, honestly, bro, um, I look at it and I don't know why people are tripping so much, man. Like, okay. Come on, come on. <laughs> you think it was fake? I don't know, man. I can't say, man. Jimmy said he wanted me to pull up, so that's that seems like a cool little opportunity. And shit, oh man. hell yeah! That's but cool. but honestly, um, I don't know why people are hating on, hating on it so much. Like, it's um, Herencia de Patrones, Grupo de Cuatro, Jan Cornejo. Um, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's like Nivel Codicia, Fuck with Jose Mejia. The only people I probably I probably wouldn't even be able to sing a song is Los del Puerto. Um, I've heard of Los Farmers recently. They're pretty fire. Um, who else is on that shit? I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I really, yeah, I really don't know, but yeah, I feel it. I, I, I don't. It. I'm not gonna lie. As far as like the people that that have, they're hating on it, I don't understand why they're hating on the lineup. But I, I feel like if they would have named it something else, it would have made their reaction a little different. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people are probably hating on it because like I expected the real SMO. Yeah. yeah. Where's Arsenal? Where's Legado? Where's you know yeah. what I'm saying? Where's JLP? Yeah, Is this sure. Devon even? I went on SMO last year. You know what I'm saying? I went on tour to the SMO. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? That was, I, I experienced the real SMO. Yeah. So last was year like was a, the real one. You know what I'm saying? The, like the, it was the year like before was cool. Legit. It was like a, like, like a legit SMO. So this time yeah. it's going to be like a whole new. So like I feel people. You know what I'm saying? I feel I, I feel where they're coming from where it's like. Because I'm sure. They should have named it something different. I'm sure they expected it to be a fucking. You know, sure. An SMO. An SMO. An uh, actual real SMO. But, and I was talking to my brother. I was like, oh, who do you think is going to be on it? I was like, oh, shit, I'm hoping, like, Fuerza Regida and maybe Luis Arconriquez will pop up here and there. Probably, right. They'll probably, hopefully, get Marco Mepe on that bitch. You know, just, like, got some, like, yeah. on the side. Little pop-up shit. shit. Like, little little guest pop appearances. Shit. Yeah, guest appearances. There it is. And, yeah, I was, I was hoping that. And then um, Jimmy hit, hit me up and say, oh, I want you to pull up to SMO. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll pull up. And he was like, all right, cool. We're announcing it tomorrow. I was like, oh, okay, y'all. Uh, Forza Regi that's going to be there. Probably Junior H. Not the Ovi. Ooh, Ovi's big as fuck. He's going to go crazy on that shit. And then he, they post it, and then I see a whole new fucking lineup, and I'm like, holy shit, that shit's like, it caught me off guard for I sure. I mean, it's still cool. It's a still cool lineup, yeah. but yeah. to name it SMO, like, I, I feel you, Eddie. Like, I feel like if it was named probably something else. Because right? I feel different. like now they're trying to make it like a Rolling Loud. Like, yeah, you know, like exactly. the Rolling and Loud. <laughs> that's pretty dope too though Yeah I fuck with it Cause it's crazy Cause I was I've been like You know what I'm saying Like I think all, like That's dope as fuck if All I know is that. I'm trying to be backstage I'm trying to see the smoke I'm trying yeah. to see All the smoke All the cheese man no, I'm just kidding <laughs> all the smoke. I'm just kidding <laughs> So wait hold up But when you think about it SMO Like the point of SMO Is to fucking smoke Like a motherfucker a lot of those artists that are in the lineup now probably don't even really smoke them. Or they're not smoking uh, artists Like you know Yeah not, 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 not that they smoke But they don't Usually talk about smoking, right? Like, like legado, legado, does, like legado Arsenal Arsenal does. Does. That's why it started. That's why it started, like, and that's why they even called it that in the first place. But then, like, it's an SMO with like people like um, well, I'm not sure if they smoke or not, but I'm assuming Varconeco doesn't really smoke. Um, I know Herencia does. I know fucking Diaz Cuatro. The motherfuckers just take dabs and shit. You feel me? But they don't really be smoking like you know 
what the whole point of SMO is supposed to be about. Right. I ne- I never been to it, but you, yeah, I've been to it. I never been to it. So I'm, well, I mean, this fool has. It, yeah, I went. Is, is it really like a? You know how they do like you know the photo like the burner the yeah. burner shit. I was about like to say the, the is same it like thing. that or is it just people just. It's just a it's concert. So it's just a concert. I ain't gonna lie. So it's, yeah, they should change the name. Yeah, it's not really an SMO. Like, no, for, like don't get me wrong. Like, like the only people that were smoking in that whole building were like the HP crew, and that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep wow. it. Lit. Well, I'm gonna keep it solid, bro. We can We had that bitch blown. You know what I'm saying? But like, other than that, bro, it was not. It was not an SMO. It's not. It's not like. It's not like when you go to the Hippie Hill concert with Burner, and he's like, he brings out a fucking big ass fucking twenty foot bong full of <laughs> a pound of weed, and yeah. he's, you know, hot boxes the whole place, and it's like, yeah, come it, get high. It yeah. should be like that. It should be yeah. like that. But at the same time, I, it's also a, it's, it's it's a state, it's a nationwide tour. So you know, I you, mean, yeah. but I mean, it's twenty twenty. 2021, no 22. Fuck. Burner still, Burner, Burner still, sells yeah. out in Oklahoma, and that yeah. should be smoke. It's called a smoke out tour and all this yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, you know. I feel like with corridos, should be something different. I feel like more corridos, you want to drink and turn up. So it should be, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah some more of that. Thing. Yeah. It can't be an SMO if nobody's smoking. Back. Like smoke me out in the parking lot, like, pow, pow, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of <laughs> smoke. Like, you know I mean, saying? I feel like there should be uh, like a little like a. Uh, you know, like, like a little tumbado event. <laughs> yeah, they should call it marijuana. Tumbado, tumbado, tumbado tour. DUI tour. Yeah. yeah, well, I guess I guess Nata would have to say something about that. Like, oh, tumbado is my shit. You feel me? Like, yeah. tumbado is my shit. So I guess they would have to call it something else. But, I mean, some some else rather than SMO would be yeah. Yeah. So what do you guys think? SMO or SMH? Um, I wouldn't call it. I, I'm not I'm not disappointed in the lineup. I'd pay for that ticket if I was just a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was just a fan, like HP, Ivan Cornejo, Los del Puerto, Tony Loya, Inibel, all those people. They're my, like, now they're my homie, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're homies to us. But, like, if we, had, we, we were just, you know, just. Yeah, I think name, it's just a know? name. Because yeah, I feel like people's expectations from the previous is more like big Rancho art. It is like HP was the only one for Rancho, you know what I'm saying? And they're the ones thrown to the event. Yeah. But do you guys feel like maybe they might have some special, like, like, like a, you know, because I don't know if y'all follow, like, Rolling Loud. I used to go to all the Rolling Louds when they first started. And when they first like started popping out, they would only al- announce like the first couple big names just to get people excited to stir the pot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then drop the full lineup in the future. So what yeah, if, or what have what if, or what have if they're a doing special that? guest? Yeah, or, or like a special headliner. A special guest is like I feel like the JLP best, or something. The, like the best special guest in this in this occasion would be like Luis Aire Conriquez, like hands down, like special yeah. guest. Yeah, Luis Aire Conriquez, like nobody else. Luis Aire, like yeah, for sure. So yeah, and he's but tapped in with country. and he's tapped in with Rancho, so we know it's possible. You feel me? It's so very, was, it's very possible. So that's for why, sure. I'm, that's why I was thinking, okay, maybe Luis said it's gonna pop up on one of them. So maybe, maybe they will, because they did say that there's gonna have special guests on them. Yeah, so yeah. Who knows, man? I'm kind of hoping they do. And you brought up a good ass point the other day where you were saying like, um, a lot of these artists are on tour, like Forza Leida, they got their own yeah, tour right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah not that I feel like he's just oh, on yeah. his own wave right now. Yeah. They, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't even ask him to put on the put him on the tour. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like even Ovi too, same shit. You know, because yeah, all both, these artists are blowing up. Yeah, they're they're like they're like the young stars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Youngsters, young stars. These other dudes got their own little avenues. But then, if if your up. label is throwing an event, wouldn't you, would. you want your fucking heavy hitters on it? And wouldn't you work around the tour dates? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's another. Oh, thing they should have just called it something else. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. The what it is tour. What it is? What it is? <laughs> that would be too bad. Hell <laughs> yeah. Vatos by one is... What did he say? Vatos by one is... 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 Tour. Tour. I'd be tired if that's how they did the bathroom. Because for long guys, Vatos by one is... Vatos by one Oh, yo, that would be bad. That is pretty <laughs> dope, <laughs> actually. Like, Bitch, yeah, that's hey, a Jimmy Hugh making Vatos by one. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, hey, at least just a little little ass piece of paper on on the on the door, <laughs> just for something. Real? You feel me? Yeah. If, if if they don't, if that, if that don't happen, bro, do do it for me. Since you are going, do it for do sure. it in the backstage. Yeah, you or just wear a shirt. It. Let's make a shirt. The little the little the little like bathroom front sign. In the back. Oh yeah, yeah. front of the back. <laughs> that's what I want to ask for long. <laughs> yeah. Take a picture with Jimmy like this. Like <laughs> that's pretty dope. That is a good idea, man. Right, I'm gonna write that down. Write that down. <laughs> She. How you feel about the Ovi and Nata beef that's going on right now? Uh, well, what happened again? Do you think it's real or they're just kind of trying to promote or hype something up? Uh, low key. Uh, I feel like I they feel got like, hurtful. I, I feel like, I feel like 
it was kind of like a little publicity stunt. Type That's what shit. I'm saying. Because I, I know they be. fuck with each other. That's what I'm saying. And they know it's gonna. They know it's gonna get a lot of attention. That's what I'm saying. So they're like, okay, like let's do this shit. Like, <laughs> make some fucking fake beef. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. everyone in the game does it. All the fucking rappers make fake ass beef. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I personally feel like it's fake. All the shit they're doing, I'm like, yeah. It could. might. It think might so? be like. It I might be like, like some do. Drake and uh, Kanye shit. Like, yeah, they beef for like years, and then they finally unite. So I'm thinking, a lot of times there's a game plan. Like yeah. right now we could be like, all right, let's agree to something. We could talk shit on internet against each other. Yeah. It'll blow up our podcast and blow up your podcast. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's strategy. Yeah. That's like we could fake beef with each other for a little bit and then be like, oh, we're cool again. And then it's bigger than how yeah. it was before. Well, shit, Richie, what's up? Fuck it about the Yeah, yeah, fuck up. Richie, bro. What's yeah. up? Yeah. Hey, straight up, y'all niggas really ain't showing love like that. Gonna, ah. <laughs> Richie walks off of the podcast. Actually, let's do, hold on. Let's cut it out right now. We'll start fresh and just walk out. And then I'll be our TikTok clip. Or like oh, the grabber. Oh, there you yeah, go. Like, how, you about, go. Like, how about you guys say something that will piss me off? And then... um. <clears throat> and I just walk out. I'm in. Yeah, yeah right. we're gonna act like we about to jump on and just cut it right there and just start right here. What? And then just y'all could, y'all could just be like, "Hey, low key, bro, your videos aren't hitting that good." Like, oh, honestly, bro, you low key kind of falling off to be honest. Yeah, you. And I'll be like, hey, bro. Like, and, y'all just like, keep <laughs> shit. and then I'll just and then I'll just walk out and then we'll just cut cut the clip and that's it. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. yeah, let's cut all this conversation. Yeah, we're gonna call right. it. Yeah, yeah. Let's right. save that for yeah. the end of the podcast. Right, so that way sure, we can, sure, like, you know what I'm saying? Be like, like rehearse it type yeah, shit. Yeah, go, yeah. go get us a couple of knives real quick. So, Richie, I'm gonna be like this. Like, hold on, guys, hold on. Oh, it's <laughs> not out. Cut that out. <laughs> yeah, oh, cut that out. <laughs> nah, but did y'all see about um how, like, I, I guess, um, Ovi was posting hella shit about about not that like saying that he's gay and shit like that. Like I don't know if y'all seen that. For real? Mm-hmm. Bro, I mean, yes. That's hilarious, bro. I mean, that's hilarious. I mean, uh, that's hilarious. I mean, maybe, shit, but that's I mean, how you know it's real though. Because like, yeah. how would you get that? You know, what I'm saying? that's a little too deep. Like I don't know. Nah, I feel like I feel like it's still a way. That's just yeah. gonna bounce. Like, like, hey, bro, gonna call me gay. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, bro, what if the, we call each other gay and then post pictures of us with our arms around each other? I bet you that's they're going to do shit like that. Hey, they're there is a picture pictures. of that, hey, There's always... Nah, you seen the video of... Uh, y'all, remember, y'all remember that video when uh, they were on the yacht? <laughs> the fucking not the comes behind Ovi and pulled his oh, chest yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was fucking uh, Famous one. He fucking uh, passed that for Famous one. Oh, the Famous one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying shit. to find that picture, dog, where fucking Ovi is hugging not that like some fucking shit. I thought it was when they were wearing suits. Yeah, it was the all-white party. Oh, no, I thought it was Jimmy Shoot. Oh, uh, when they're all were wearing tuxedos and shit. Yeah, well, was wasn't the name of that song? Um, they're like, "Soy de las calles." That's that waco. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. Look, I found it. I found it. This picture right here. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you remember this picture? I you guys even see this? Yeah, see that shit look like ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. Yeah. That's like ASAP Rocky and Tyler. What the fuck? <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> oh, y'all don't know about that? I'll show y'all in a little bit. I'll show y'all. In a little bit. I don't want to know about that. You're gonna have to. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I don't know. So, bro, tell us um as far as TikTok and shit like that. I know you got your podcast. Uh, yeah. I know you're doing really good as far as like I know now you got Jimmy like showing you love and shit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like there's like a shift now with your career as far as like with the TikTok shit where it's like people are starting to understand and kind of see where you're going from? Because like I feel like as far as like if, if I was a, if I was an artist and I seen you making a TikTok and kind of like I don't know roasting me. I would think it's funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I would yeah. find it kind of funny, and I would probably be like, ha like, you know, like, yeah. like, there goes that kid doing his thing. Like, yeah, there you yeah. go, do your shit, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like that's kind of happening now? Yeah, I kind of feel like, like, people have just gotten to the point where, like, okay, like, we know he's joking. Um, You're a factor. We, we know that this is what he does. Yeah. I feel like, I'm not going to say people like me, but I feel like, like, influencers like me are needed in the industry. Like people yeah, like sure. me, yeah, yeah. people like Yayo, people like Augusto Papa podcast. Yeah. Um, all those, all those, all, all those influencers, they're needed. If let's say I wasn't here, Yayo wasn't here and the Augusto wasn't here. Let, like, let's say all three of like all three of us weren't in this industry. Like who the fuck would be it? Cause there's literally nobody else that's doing, that's doing, that's pushing this genre like that as far as influencers. Nice. So I kind of feel like artists and labels 
they've realized like okay like they're helpful we need them we need yeah. these people in the industry and we have to push them we have to support them cuz i do get a lot of messages from labels big labels where they're like hey man like we appreciate you yeah. for what you're doing for the genre and they show love you for me and it is helpful cuz a lot of yeah. times like i get on yo shit or yayo shit or especially yayos yeah like hot songs or Anything you want to know, what's going on, yep. and you know Jeez, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, everything. You pretty much go there, and it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. it was like the academics. It's a platform. Yeah. So for I, sure. It's definitely needed. So. <clears throat> and it's crazy, too, because, like, I'm pretty sure, like, at, at first, they were probably just like, what the fuck? Like, what's everyone? You know what I'm saying? Like, all these, all these yeah, young. Bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's all, what are all these youngsters doing, like, hating or making comments or sharing their opinion, you know what I'm saying, yeah, on, yeah. On, what, on what's going on? But it's like, they, they didn't realize that this is still a young-ass like industry, this, you know, this is what yeah. this is what happens. This is what, just what happens once you're popping. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you're y'all popping, bro. Like so. And people love negativity. Yeah. Like people really love negativity. Yeah. Like if we were just talking about positive shit, it'll probably get like a thousand views. If we're ever here fighting each other, yeah, yeah. it'll probably blow up and go viral. You know what I'm saying? So, the world's ran by negativity. So. That's you know, unfortunately that true, bro. That is true. Which is why we should go body shots in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds or what? 30, se- what? 30 seconds or 10 seconds? How much you want? I don't know. He seems strong. Probably like 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably only be able to go five seconds with this guy. All right. Yahweh. 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 That was hilarious. That's hella funny. And what you liking more right now? You like you still like TikToks more or you like doing your podcast more? Uh honestly, I feel like honestly, I got to the point where I'm kind of tired of making my TikToks to be honest. And yeah. I just do them because I feel like I kind of have to. But there is some videos where <clears throat> where I finish a skit and I'm like, fuck, I laugh at that shit myself. Like, oh shit, that's funny as fuck. Cause there is some skits where I like I make the shit like, yeah, this shit's not funny. And I keep that shit in my dress for like two weeks and then I post it and that shit gets like 200,000 views. I'm like, what the fuck? I was hiding this shit for nothing. Yeah. And then there's <laughs> videos where where, where I post that I'm like, fuck, this shit's hilarious. It's about to go crazy. And I post it and that shit only gets like 90,000 views. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> like these these past two videos, that these two skits that I posted like this week, um, I posted on my Instagram like, oh, I'm about to post the two funniest skits I've ever made. And then um, I post one that I thought was funnier first and that shit it got like 50,000 views. And then I posted the other one that I thought was less funny or not funny at all. She got like a hundred thousand views. So I was like, "What the fuck? Like hmm. that shit makes no sense." But, I mean, and, and what's your process when you're making these videos? Like, do you have a strategy, or you just uh, be like, "Fuck it, I'm just going and however it comes out." So what I do is I, I make scripts. I make like shit what I, like of shit what I'm gonna say. So you know how I mentioned love live serve. Mm-hmm. They um I saw a Q and A or whatever, but they were saying that they do scripts for every video. Like, they write down what they're going to say, and I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm going to yeah. do that, too. And so, yeah, I just plan out what I'm going to say. I just write it down. Um, whenever it comes up to my head, I write it down. And it, and I'm, I may not say it how I write it down, but at least I have an idea of, of what, what I'm going to kind of say. Yeah. So, yeah, I do write down, like, little skits, and I, I try. I try to. I don't, but I try to sit down and and just come up with ideas i just try to come up with as much ideas as possible that sometimes that doesn't work yeah. so that's why i literally it's just like artists like they come they come up with letras in the most random spots ever like me i like i be fucking taking a shit and i come up like oh shit that's a good ass idea let me, let me write that shit down or tamien i base off my skits off of shit that i see like like let's say with the with the smo tour the 2022 one mm. i was like damn like i see a lot of people are like like hating on this shit let me make a skit about it just because it's like a little training topic so i was like okay let me let me talk let me make a skit about it and let me try to put my little comedy in it mm-hmm. to see if it does good um yeah and then i do get a lot of people that send me messages like hey richie bro make a skit about this make a skit about this i'm like all right i got you <laughs> mm-hmm. and i just do it yeah but that's like oh. my whole little process and uh, out of all the ones that have you done it doesn't have to be the one to most views what skit do you feel like you were you felt the proudest or the funniest or the one that you were just like, this is my best skit I ever done. Honestly, um, honestly, all my skits, to be honest, like I don't post them if, they don't, yeah. if I don't think they're good. But do you have that one that you're just like, this is my favorite skit that I've done? Uh, there was, there is one where I, I think I did uh, a Rancho Mille ordering McDonald's at the drive-thru. That shit did all right. <laughs> it did like 110 or something like that. 
But it was hilarious. I fucked with it because I did like Arsenal Efectivo and I never really put them in my videos and I finally did them and that shit was hilarious. I thought it was funny as fuck. Like I was dead ass laughing throughout the whole video. And usually I laugh at, at my videos. I, when I watch my own videos, if I could laugh once at it, I'll post it. Yeah. But if I can't, if I, if I don't, if I just look at it for like, like if I watch the whole video with a straight face, then I'm not going to post it. Yeah. But yeah. And if you weren't doing TikToks, what would you be doing? Working. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dog, because that's like uh, I'll, I'll be straight up with y'all, dog. I'll just be fucking working, dog. I kind of it's kind of bad because I how I'm kind of relying on this shit to be honest. But um, I like I like to work. I mean, I've always I've always liked to work. I've been working since I was 16 years old, so I don't mind working. Yeah. And like I said, I still work, so it's cool with me. I would I would literally still be working. I was try to. I've always been the type to want to be on social media and have, like, um, you know, something. Like I said, I've been doing that shit since I was a kid. I'd like, I'd, o- I'd always lo- love to be on camera. And, yeah, honestly, if I wasn't doing these kind of videos, I would be behind the scenes. Like, I'll be editing videos for, for YouTubers. I'll be editing videos, you know, shit like that. I would just be, I would still be in the game regardless. I would still even be behind the scenes. Mm. If I wasn't doing this shit, I would still be behind the scenes editing videos. Shit like that, cause I like to edit videos. Yeah, shit was up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we not that, that red camera shit <laughs> well, that y'all was. Not the kind of shit y'all be doing. That's just some crazy shit. I can't, I can't edit shit like that. But I like recently. I like to develop skills. I like. I, I like to just like when I be bored, I'll be like, "Fuck!" Like I need to start. I need to learn something new. Yeah. So Feels like good, huh? recently, I started um, just trying to play guitar. I got that down. Damn. A little bit. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> I love you. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I never gonna stop love you. Bitch. <laughs> you know, but but yeah, I tr- I tried to learn guitar and I got it down. It was cool. Mm. Um, I just got tired of it. But it, it is a pretty it is a pretty cool like skill to develop and shit. And then recently I got into, um, cause I've always knew how to edit, but nothing too crazy and shit. But cause I would edit my my YouTube videos back then, but it wasn't nothing too crazy like I said. But now recently, cause I would just edit on iMovie and shit. Mm. But you know that you know that's just free, free fucking software, and it's, yeah. it's ass. Right, there's only so much you can do on it. But if you're really good, you can do some crazy shit. Like y'all, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So recently, I was I was trying to watch videos. Like, okay, what's better, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro? So I was hitting up my boy Yayo because usually Yayo knows all about that shit. That nigga's yeah. a fucking badass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, hey, bro, who's better? Like, what, what should I? What software should I edit on? Or which one do you use? Like, oh, I be on Premiere Pro. I was like, all right, for sure. So I, I hop on Premiere Pro and I, I got it down in like like two days. Mm. I got I got to do some badass shit on, on Premiere Pro. It was pretty cool. But then I tried to do Photoshop, dog. Like, oh, that <laughs> yeah, shit. Photoshop's a whole nother world. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, fucking hate Photoshop, crazy. nigga. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to do, I'm gonna just do Pixar on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, bro. But nah, I can't do Photoshop. Bro. But yeah, I do like to just try to like develop little, little skills like that. What do you yeah. feel like trying that you haven't tried yet? Uh, <laughs> honestly, bro, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, Crack. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Just Damn, like, fool. He <laughs> said he was gonna say. It. Nah, I was gonna say like, oh, I want to smoke, but nah, I don't want to smoke. Um, honestly, uh, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what. Nah, OnlyFans. Speaking of crack, ain't Joe Biden like doing some shit where? He, they could provide crack pipes or oh, yeah. some oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Thirty million dollars, bro. Yeah, like, what right, the right, fuck? Yeah. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam is a stimmy, bro. Man, yeah, fuck the crack pipes, bro. Send me another fourteen. <laughs> God damn it. Straight up. Yeah. You got fourteen? I got twelve. Oh shit! You got a baby somewhere we don't know about. On the other side of the country and shit, I got a whole ass family in Memphis. Bro. <laughs> Memphis. Memphis. Damn. Don't, don't say that. I don't have family in Memphis. Why are you lying, bro? He has a kid in Mexico. <laughs> From Hong Kong. Two hundred bucks support the whole year. On frijoles and tortillas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see they're gonna have ice at the big game on Sunday? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. bro. You think that's real? 
Yeah. That's really that's crazy, yeah. Fuck, bro. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I feel like that. What's up? Let's do a skit. Let's just wear ice shirts and just go pull up to the game. No! Oh, I thought you were gonna say let's sell let's 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 street vend over there or something. I was like, hey, I'm with bro, it. Hey, no, nah, hey, you're right. We could do that. We get could, in we the could game. Do that. Yeah, we, we could just be street vendors. Like, nigga, I'm from here, dog. You can't <laughs> keep me on. You wanna see my California ID? Yeah, you feel me? Like, what if we get in the game though? We just wearing the shirts, everybody just scattering. We go viral and shit. I'm yeah, like, but how oh, did you fake an ice uniform, man? Go to the mall. Amazon, baby. Shirt. Hell yeah. For real? All right, we, and we got going by the screen print and everything, yeah. too. Man. All you got to do is put ice. Ice. <laughs> ice yeah, ice. Are, are you really going to second guess somebody that says, yeah, yeah, you feel me? And you're get into the game, for real. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that to get people. I'm talking about to cancel get our way films. In. Hashtag cancel Stewie films right now. <laughs> Bro, we can get in the game. But who wants game? to see the game for real? Fuck that game. You watching the game? Nah, I don't really watch football like that. I would want to sneak in though. That shit would be hella funny if we yeah. snuck in. I don't really watch. If we football got in there, like, like excuse me, sir. Uh, you see the badge here? Damn, we gotta get a badge too. Do oh, we? <laughs> that's stupid illegal. <laughs> Super <laughs> illegal. Man. You get the ones from the spirit story. <laughs> Female booty inspector, the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> they still let you go. That's on them. Wait, isn't yeah. that a whole? What the fuck is that called? Where you try to impersonate a fucking law enforcement? Literally that. Oh, what is yeah. it called? Impersonating a uh, law inf- impersonating. I, I forgot know. what it's called, but it's that. It's that. Yeah. It's that. Is it a, is it a, no, there's a word for it. Isn't yeah, it? there's a word for it. Yeah, embellishment or something like that. No, abortion. <laughs> abortion. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, isn't it embellishment or something like that? I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't even know what embellishment. No, it's is. impersonating. That's its own thing. Nah, but then there's like an actual like word. a term, right? There's like a term. Yeah, like a term. I think embell- embellishment is when you do some fraudulent shit when you fake is to be somebody. You mean I'm belly? I'm belly. I'm belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's called. You gotta close out your porn hub. Uh, <laughs> yeah. BBC. Embellishment in music. I accidentally clicked on that. My bad. What does embellishment mean? Sounds like a fancy word. I don't You're know. wrong as fuck. As fuck? A decorative detail or feature added to something to make it more attractive. That, that is, is definitely not. Definitely not what embellishment. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Not embellishment. Hey. Y'all said, it, if I would have been like, yeah, embellishment, y'all would have been like, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, <you're right. laughs> Luckily, I'm not something a like that. and I'm like, That's nah. That's because it's so smart, so it sounds great, but it's not. Learn something new at No Sabo University. <laughs> no Sabo, SBSU, <laughs> No Sabo State University. SSSU. Oh, and S. What, what did I say? SB. <laughs> SBSU. <laughs> Let's end the fucking podcast, bro. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Here's where we start to fight. You got the yeah, we start to fight, y'all. Putting words in my mouth. I said it. I said it how it was supposed to be said, bro. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to this, bro. Sorry. I don't know. You got a ticket today. Yeah, you got a ticket today. Yeah, click, me... You didn't click it, so you got the ticket. Uh, for the lawyer. But anyways, I need for a lawyer in my life. <laughs> who you got your eyes on for music coming Fuck up? My eyes on? Like who you feel like? Who's gonna be the next up? Type next Ooh. up, or gonna have a great year? Um, if this if this song that Ivan Cornejo is gonna drop today or tonight, whenever, if that one goes crazy, then I kind of feel like Ivan Cornejo is the next. The I feel next like he's popping song. right now already though. Yeah, he's but like then he could get way bigger. Way bigger. So I kind of feel like he's the next. He's next up for sure. That's like crazy. Too. We seen him blow up too. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. We shot his first video. He was hella nervous. He was like, yeah. <laughs> what video was it? That was his first uh, video. Llamadas perdidas. Oh, for real. And now he didn't even fucking reply to us. Fucking. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> that's that's nah, crazy. Man. It's either Pepe or nothing, bro. Sorry. Wait. So how does that work for you guys? Like, do they hit you up or you guys hit them up? Like. It could go either way, but they hit us up in that. And then for the most part, they hit us up. It. Yeah, for the most part. Wait, so if they hit Stewie Films, does Eddie Chopo pull up too? Yeah. If it's a big production, we because uh, that's where we kind of did it. We did it like as a production team. Mm-hmm. So it's like if I get booked, they come along. If he gets booked, we come along. So it's kind of oh, like okay. we're a team type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do it by yourself, but yeah. we have more fun and we get more productive when it's all of us together. 
Yeah. It's more enjoyable. It doesn't feel like a job. It's like we go work, turn like, up. Like, we're, like we're literally how we are right now, but just yeah. working. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. Basically. And you how, saying no. And how, <laughs> literally. literally. <laughs> and how, how's the money in that industry, dog? Because I've always i always wondered that, honestly. Like, is, like, do these directors get banked, dog? Everyone works differently. But yeah. there's a lot of money to be made. Yeah. So it depends on what you want to do. We're not even everything. nearly to like the amount of money yeah. we're gonna be making too. Man. Yeah, like we make cool amount of money, but you guys could be making making. We could make way more. We can make way less. You get know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like everybody there's works levels. different because there's a lot of people that want to keep the most as they want or they can, and there's people that will get a big budget and just spend it all and not make a dollar. But it'll be like a dope ass video. You get know what I'm saying? So it kind of depends on you sometimes. So how do you guys how do you guys improve though? Like what do you like? Is it like special effects, like new effects that no one's ever seen before, or mm-hmm. or how how do how do music directors like how how do you guys come up? Experience, bro. I feel like yeah, it's just really. I feel like, like it's really just experience, like word of mouth type shit. Like hey, this guy mm-hmm. nah, like mm-hmm. I feel nah. like you 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 yourself are your mo- are, are your biggest critic, so you kind of critique your own work, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh maybe I should start doing this and yeah. this and that, or if I. Well, that I feel like that's us in general. Like we critique our own work. We we it's not like Stewie, you got to work on this. Eddie, you got to work on this. Like we tell each other, like we tell ourselves, like, hey, I feel like if I stepped it up to this level or did this, I think that would be good. And then we try it out, or we talk about it together. Then we try to bring it to life or something. That and for me, I use competition as my motivation. Mm-hmm. Because, like, back when I first started, there wasn't, like, too many directors, so I got kind of comfortable. Mm-hmm. And then once people started coming around, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm getting too comfortable. Let me start changing it up. So every time I see people, I don't I don't hate on it. It motivates me to want to do better for myself, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I see me, oh, that's tight. So I try to do something better. than that. Not in a competing way, but, okay, you did this. Let me try to do this. You did this. That's dope. You get know what I'm saying? So we try that's to hard. find motivation all the time. And that's the thing a lot of people – a lot of people try to follow trends, and that's where they kind of fuck up at. Like, if one person is doing an effect, they all try to do that exact effect. And so you get caught in this bubble. You get what I'm saying? So for us, it's more like, this person did this, that's wet. Let's do it better. Or let's do it like this, or let's do it like this. Instead of, let's copy exactly what he did. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's kind of what we do, in a way. It's definitely kind of like being an artist, too, in a way. Like, I don't know if you've seen how, like, kind of how you said, like, how, how like, we, like, not us, but, like, I'm talking, like, like directors as a whole, like, they'll follow the trends. Yeah. Rappers and, like, even corrido artists, for example, too, like, they'll follow the trend, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like the, they'll try to do a corrido tumbado, you know what I'm saying? And try to do that because it's popping. And, like, like I feel like we're, like, in the same kind of market where, like, we're also artists. So, it's, like, we always, we're always kind of going, like, our avenue of success isn't, like, go to school, do this, this, and that, get your, get your diplomas, get your that, and you're good, you know what I'm saying? It's more of so, like... It's on you, bro. You gotta you gotta figure out what you want to do. You gotta navigate your lanes. There's gonna be ups and downs. There's gonna be a roller coaster. One day, you know what I'm saying? You might almost have the opportunity to lock in a twenty thousand dollar video, and then the next day the fucking person doesn't text you back, and you're like, oh fuck, I almost yeah. had that fucking video. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro. And then you know you grind till you finally get that other chance again. And then once yeah. you get that chance, it's up to you. Like Stewie said earlier, like you, you could either be a person that's gonna be like, you know what, twenty bands, she, I'm a, I'm keeping fifteen, and I'm gonna yeah. just. I'm gonna buy my I'm gonna buy, buy myself this, buy myself that, you know what I'm saying? Go go to Neiman Marcus and buy hella shit. Or you can be like 15, 20 bands. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna keep like a, two bands, you know what I'm saying? Then for your work. Or maybe even say I'm not gonna keep shit. And I'm gonna I'm gonna invest all of it. Because why? Because my first twenty thousand dollar video, for like for example, like my biggest budget um has been Laney Keys. And for that video I kept zero dollars. Like I had to think it was like eight thousand dollars for the budget. And I invested every single dollar into the video because I was like, you know what, bro? Like, and he was signed to Lil Yachty at the time. And um, I was like, well, shit, bro. Like, this is my first big opportunity to work with a Hollywood-style label, I guess you could say. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I was like, fuck it, bro. I'm literally going to try to cash out as much shit as I can. It was middle of quarantine, so everything was hella expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, like, every, like, it didn't really turn out the way that we planned. But other than that, like, I feel like I did my best job. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's kind of like where you go, you know what I'm saying? And even that, like for example, like el video no salió como yo quería because it was mid- middle of quarantine. Mm. When we rented the house, the house was a fucking um, it was a mansion. It wasn't even a house; it was a mansion. Mm. But they were only allowing like like eight to ten people mm. in at a time. So I was like, "Fuck, bro! Like, I can't really throw a a a, a, a party video at a at a house where they're only allowing eight to ten people." Mm. So that's where it kind of fucked up. And then and then I, I hit the A and R. 
the manager that hired me the next day, and I was like, hey, bro, like, I'm sorry, like, it didn't go the way it's planned. Mm. And, like, it's out of my control, but, like, you know, like, it's just kind of like I said, like, it's being, like, being an artist, it is, it is what it is, you just keep it pushing. It wasn't your time then, you know, you might just keep it going until it's your time now, you know what I'm saying? So do labels try to hit you guys up, like, hey, like, sign with us, and you guys just film with our artists? We haven't got to that point. We work uh, with labels, but we haven't got to that point. Would you guys take that opportunity, though? No. no? I would. I wouldn't. You would? It depends on the terms, but I feel like I definitely would. So why would you, and why would, wouldn't would you? I feel like I would just because. Oh, no. Why would you, and then why wouldn't you? Uh, well, I personally feel like I would just because I've done this for so long, whereas, like, I've worked with a certain amount of artists mm -hmm. at certain levels, so... When you work with a label, there's usually a bigger artist than a local artist. You get what I'm saying? And most of the time, they'll have a bigger budget for you. You get what I'm saying? It's like, for example, like Lalo, for example. He's doing everything for Rancho. Those are like the big, one of the, pretty much most of the biggest artists in the Corrido industry. You get what I'm saying? And he might be signed to them. He might not. But he's pretty much doing all of their videos. You get what I'm saying? Compared to us, it's like, if we want to work with Rancho, it's like they're the ones that have to reach out for us whenever they need us. But if we're there, we're already you know, in the door with all the opportunities for every artist that's already coming up. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. So why wouldn't you? Uh, the reason why I say I wouldn't is because um, I've already kind of been offered that. Like, um, I don't know, like, I guess like everyone knows, like, I started with HP, you know what I'm saying? And they were trying to, like, like uh, I fuck with them, like, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's just, like, I, I kind of came in the game to, like, work with everybody and kind of like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I enjoy that genuinely. Like, I genuinely enjoy, like, being able to work with this label, that label, and that label, and having no boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Like, or as far as, like, once you get tied down, I guess maybe if it was, like, a like a universal maybe, but I'm not there yet, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if it was, like, a universal or, like, a Sony Records or, like, Quality Control or, like, CMG, you know that's what I'm saying? saying. Yeah, okay, that's what, but you're like, there, though, like you know what I'm saying? Like, riveting of the yeah, time yeah, you yeah. get all the big, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, I get what you're saying. Yeah, when it's like a, that. Because a lot of yeah. times, like, you can't work with a big artist unless you go through the label. True, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you want to uh, shoot a video for Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny's never going to hit us directly. Yeah. It'll be mm -hmm. the label that's going to reach out and do da da So it's like, in order for you to be there, you have to work. Like, the way Hollywood works, too, is like, it's like the artist, the label, then the production company, and then the director. So it's like hella people that are involved in the whole production. You get what I'm saying? So what's gonna? What do you guys think is gonna take you to the next step? What's gonna get you to like filming for Anuel, for Bad Bunny? What, what's gonna get you guys to that level? That one video. That one. Yeah, that, that one video. Literally, bro. Like Eddie said, like when you get that twenty thousand video, twenty thousand. When you get that twenty thousand dollar budget, like, what are you gonna do with it? Like, are you gonna put eighteen thousand dollars of it and get this guy and put this effect and get this guy for that and get that or are you gonna keep fifteen thousand like it's really on you so whenever we would get a big ass budget like that we'd invest the most that we can into it you know obviously we get a little cut sometimes like a, a fraction of a cut sometimes no cut so i feel like if once we start getting that ball rolling will eventually land somebody. And it's really on how you who you know, for real. Facts. It's really on who you know. You could be like, I was in the room with Justina Valentine, you know, from Wild and Out. Yeah. Whack 100 walks in. And he's like, y'all want to do Blueface tomorrow? We're like, okay. And then the next thing you know, we did a fucking Blueface video the next day. Oh, shit. Literally. So it's just like, who you know, who's in the I'll room. you guys. No, no, it was me, someone else. Uh, no. some, some way different. Some. <laughs> 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 no, nah, it wasn't his video. <laughs> yeah, I was helping out, and they were just like, "Well, I got Blueface tomorrow. Y'all want to do Blueface?" Yeah. Like, okay. And, and you were in LA too. That's how it be out here. Yeah. It really be like that out here, bro. Because one time, um, I was I was getting my hair. Oh no, I was shooting a video for a barber. Yeah. After I had got my hair cut, and, and I just shot him like a little like a little clip, you know what I'm saying? And the dude that he was cutting was like an A and R for uh, I don't know if you have seen that brand that um James Oro the glasses. Like, I don't know if you get that, oh, that, yeah, that, little, that little yeah, ad. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that little ad. Everybody gets it. And fly-ass glasses. Yeah, yeah, I have a pair. They're dope as fuck. Yeah. They sent to me for free. Yeah. And, um, but anyways, um, that fool was on the phone with, with somebody for for that company. Yeah. And I guess they needed somebody to take pictures for, for 42 Doug. Yeah. Bro, they offered me 800 bucks for an hour of work to go take pictures for 42 Doug real quick. Just go yeah. pop up, boop, boop, come out, and just bounce. Like, that's hell. Bro, like, you're offering me bread, and, and I get to hang out with 42 Doug. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, yeah. that's crazy, bro. 
And after that, you build that relationship. He might have followed me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So I, he, I, unfortunately, I didn't get the job. But oh, okay. I was just about to ask you that. Did you, did you take that over? <laughs> I did. I did. I did. Oh, okay. But but then uh, I don't know what ended up happening. He never, he never hit me back. But yeah. but yeah, it's just like it's just like especially out here, bro. It's just like that. Like it's crazy, bro. You so right here, you kind of have to like you have to go and go get that shit type shit. Go get. Like, it. You have to go. Like, yeah, it won't fall on. Go your get. Life, it's like so. it's not gonna fall on you type shit. That and just for me, what I notice is like I worked with a lot of big artists, and the way I get to the big artists is you never know who's watching your shit. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's like at times when I'll drop a, a hot video for a big artist, another big artist will hit me, and it, that's how it kind of like goes on and on. You get what I'm saying? Like when I dropped the Ivan videos, uh, Mark MP hit me. Oh, for and me. yeah, and then some other big label hit me, and I was like, oh shit. And then when I did this other video for a big artist, this label hit me, and this label. Hit me. So it's like. Yeah. That's how you start getting like, you know, what I'm saying like the big art, and then eventually, like I said, that one video just that you go crazy on is just gonna set that that bar for you to really blow up. So with like video ideas, do you guys come up with the ideas, and then you just pitch it to the artist, or the artist pitches it to you guys, and then you guys? Just They're all different. A lot of times, they'll literally just be like, "Here's twenty thousand dollars to book everything, do whatever you want," uh -huh. and then it's up to us. Or a lot of times, the artist knows what they want, and a lot of times, it's kind of like a collab between you two. Like, oh, you want to do this? I want to do this, and. Da -da -da. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. So everything's different. So when there's a budget, you guys you guys choose how much you guys want yeah. to use and then how much mm -hmm. you guys want to keep. Mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, basically. That's basically. why I said yeah, it, it depends on what kind of person you are. You get what I'm saying? Because you I fucked up before, but it wasn't my fault. Like someone gave us a fifteen thousand dollar budget. I got hella hype. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. Is it but the, it was like I'm not gonna say no names, but <laughs> it was like the video could have been <laughs> way better. But like you guys way, just but chose to keep a lot of chose to keep a lot, but it wasn't it wasn't my fault. It wasn't because I wanted to. It was like the person that was handling that money mm -hmm. wanted to just be selfish and just be like, just keep this. Like out of fifteen, we spent not even close to half. It was Eddie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was there. Bro. He was there. <laughs> I was there. I was like, hey, we cop a couple, couple packs, send them, send them to the east. Yeah. <laughs> 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 On that shit, quick, huh? <laughs> Yeah, like a couple so packs of friends. And, and friends. like I said, and then there's been times where we got you know a, lot, a big budget too, and we literally keep zero dollars. So it just, but but like I said, it comes to a point where we really want to enjoy the video and be like, that's wet. We did that. Wait, so do you guys get to keep a like any kind of percentage off of that? Or if we want to, as much as you want, as much as you want. Like literally, like I could, I could be a CEO right now. Hey, Richie, I got ten thousand dollars. Can you shoot me a video? I'm not gonna you're, know you're, what you're, you're, you're know Richie, what you know what I'm saying? You're popping, you're yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know what you're doing. So I'm just gonna be like, here, take care of it. Like if I gave I'm you I'm not gonna 10, ask you questions, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like, oh, where'd that money go? Like if I gave you ten thousand dollars for a skit, you don't think you're gonna hire like somebody else to collab or do it uh, in here. Get a big like, cameraman. Oh, if I get it like get this, a big TikToker, get... you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like like okay, Or would okay, you just okay. be like, Hey, what's up, y'all? And then take the big then cop it, cop it. Pocket the fucking ten okay, bands, you know. Right. You know what I'm saying, like, cause if you if you use uh like money to like to invest into the video to make it better and to yeah. make it better, you get you'll get way more opportunities based off if I'm just like fucking just standing of just the me, results yeah. are way you're better. You're gonna than get you may not have more opportunities. So yeah. Yeah. I guess okay, that was but every situation is different because there's a lot of times where it's like they'll be super dicks about stuff where you're like, you know, I don't want to make this video dope more because of the way they're acting bro like, yeah, or yeah there's hella the times where you're just like yeah if, the, if it's worth your time i don't mind investing every single dollar if they're playing yeah, with yeah. your time and being like no it has to be like this it has to do or like you're just like, all right well fuck it i'm gonna keep or it, i'm gonna keep half organized. or i'm gonna keep this yeah or there's hella shit there's videos Holy where we're like shit. fuck this shit i'm gonna just rob the ass and just keep all this money I don't Damn, know. that's fuck, I don't know about rob the ass like that, but for Not sure, I'm be like, hey, that's bro, how it feels. like, you playing with me, yeah. I don't play with you back, bitch. And you playing like, my time, my time is money, boy. Like, you know yeah, because if you're hella cool with us and do, here's two grand, let's do a dope video. I'm like, hell yeah. But if you're just like, show up two hours late, why do I have to late? give you two, two grand? Where's the money? You know what I'm saying? So you're just going to be like, yeah, fuck this shit. I'm not going to do all or this like, shit. shit. You, you do a dope ass set. Honestly, bro, I don't want to shoot here. I don't like, like, you feel me? Like, the way my subies look right here. I'm, I'm not fucking. <laughs> you know what I'm like, like, and it's like, bro, what? Like, come on, bro. I just did this whole, like, ah, bro. And then you, now you, you're just like, all right, like, fuck this. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? I just wasted all this time, bro. I don't like, like how my purple tag looks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bro, 
That's Come wait, on, so that fuck. I was gonna ask some. Oh, I wanted to ask something, but I completely forgot about it. Damn, I <laughs> <laughs> it's the perks, huh? They hating that. It's the Perk water, the water, huh? The Molly water. Thirties. It's the water. <laughs> the Molly. Water. Kick game. Watch. This is the part playing. where we fight now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's dope. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. It's getting hot. Oh, yeah, I'm getting hot. My my feet are sweating from these goddamn crocs. Man, well, she. Any more questions for you from you guys? This is the last question, then we wrap it up. What's coming up for Richie, 2022? Uh, let's see, A baby. Honestly, I'm um I'm, I'm thinking I want La Platica, my podcast, to be like the biggest podcast in the freaking genre. Be cool with wanna... that. Be cool with that. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I want... Fuck with you, bro. Fuck with you. Like, <laughs> hey, like on some real shit, like I want my shit to be the biggest, like, mm. like, yeah, like I want my shit to be the biggest. Um, I want, I want to keep growing. Um, I want to get my money up. Hell yeah. Um, shit like that. I'm gonna just run my, I'm gonna just run that shit up, and I'm plant. Oh <laughs> my god, what's up with you, man? That's hella funny. This whole time, like, who the fuck is here? I don't got my shank. Oh shit, what's up, my man? My boy Randy, man. I fucking love this guy, man. This is my guy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, man? What the fuck? We got my boy. Oh, hell, man. It's going down. Why, why y'all ain't telling me this motherfucker was pulling up? I would have left like an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> my God, God, what's up, man? You look like way different, man. What's up? Yeah, like what you, what'd you do to your face? That's a lab life, bro. You looking good now, huh? Yeah. 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 You yeah. meditating yeah. now, huh? <laughs> yeah, meditate. hey, we still editing that podcast, by the way. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's dope. Uh, nah, that's badass fucking cameos and shit. Huh? <laughs> that's that's Feels dope. like the no jumper office right here. Yeah, <laughs> damn, that shit don't happen at the Platica office. Swear to God, it don't. Match one, player. Hey, how you be doing that 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 rich bum shit? Yeah, do that shit. Rich bum. <laughs> 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 this guy's hilarious, man. I love that guy. <laughs> nah, but but yeah, I want my podcast to be the biggest. I want to keep growing on on all my social medias and all my platforms. Eventually, I want to hop in the studio and like get my own shit going. Um, if that shit flops, I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I ain't gonna lie. I, I can see you talking shit at, uh, at the end of somebody's court either. For yeah. sure. Honestly, I, I've been wanting to do some shit like that too, like on some DJ like Khaled some, shit, like some skits. Mm. I, I was about to say no, the same shit, like some skits and shit. I want to like, do. Like, yeah, I've been. I've been, I want, I've been always wanted to do that shit too. Like I seen Young Dolph does. Like I don't know if you guys seen that, but Young Dolph does skits. Yeah. And like his music videos and like the way beginning. Oh yeah. And he gets the like Instagram little ten minute videos. Yeah, but I was alive like, first. <laughs> yeah, just like shit like that. I would want to like do skits and music videos for like bigger artists. Um, as a future collab, we're gonna do with yeah, you. Let, let, yeah, that's already locked in right here. Nah, I already know, man. Coming in the suit, <laughs> Come in the suit. man's I warehouse. Ain't, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good actor. Well, a little bit. It's good. I like to say I'm a good actor. <laughs> I feel like everyone has their their little inner actor in them. But I feel like mine's is pretty cool. But yeah, I want to do that. I want to hop in the studio. Um, I would wanna. I want to build a big ass fucking. Um, a big ass album on some DJ Khaled shit. Just mm -hmm. fucking get Ivan Cornejo with like Herencia Patrones and then have like Fuerza Regida with like mm -hmm. some crazy shit, you know? I want to yeah. do something like that. Obviously, their ideas, you know, we obviously got to grow more. Mm -hmm. But there's some shit I would want to do. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So, hell yeah. Well, just keep pushing, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're yeah, doing we, good, bro. Definitely we're here to see it all, man. We're gonna be here. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Echando por us. Yeah, uh, y'all cool peoples, man. I really fuck with y'all. Oh, yeah, like you, if you want to roast, that. if you want to roast us, roast Mota. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. You I seem like a dude that could take it, man. You're a pretty cool dude, man. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I cry and shit. I don't know. <laughs> so if y'all want to see a grown man cry, y'all go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, but just keep pushing, my boy. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Keep doing your thing. So. Likewise, man. Y'all keep pushing, man. Appreciate it, bro. Y'all gonna get y'all gonna be fucking making music videos for Anuel and shit. Don't worry about shit. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully That's bro. what y'all wanna do. Definitely, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah we yeah. will, bro. Hey, you're right, bro. I will be doing videos for Anuel. Because yeah, I remember yeah. I, I used to say I'm gonna do videos for the pop and corrido artists. Now look at me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this yeah. is crazy, bro. Yeah, look at so you. You're right. Oh, 
I'm gonna pinch your little <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, definitely, bro. I mean, it all starts with the dream, right? Yes, sir. For sure. Yeah. You never know. Oh, man. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Some of los compas del barrio and special yes, guests. Sir. Big Ricky. Richie. 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 You said Ricky. <laughs> Bendejo. Purchase. No, a lot of people, a lot of, every, literally a lot of people like say fucking Ricky. Like, honestly, a bigger majority says Ricky than Richie to me. I don't know why. Like, that shit literally says Richie. I'm horrible with names. I was like, what's up, bro? Yeah. What's up, bro? I'm horrible with names. Michael? Nah, but. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully appreciate you coming, bro. Yeah, appreciate, yeah, appreciate you. Appreciate you for sliding, bro. Yeah, for sure. oh, yeah. Bro. Thank you guys for inviting me. This is dope as fuck. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Welcome Thanks. to our Pornhub set. Yes, sir. <laughs> Checking out. Only fans girls coming in. Only yeah. fans. The link is right here. Oh, That's, not true. That's 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 not true. Yeah, we're tuning out. <laughs> <laughs>